Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new stream, although this is going to be more focused for YouTube and archival purposes, but all the same. What's up? What's up, Gaseous? What's up, Puzzle? Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, this is a little bit of a fucking weird-ass galaxy brain concept. I don't know. So, I used to do similar shit like this with the Master System. I think I did like three videos where I was referencing a top 100 game list. But what this is, is I looked up a list of every single game released in North America for the PlayStation 1. I also have one for the Genesis coming up. And what I do is I randomly draw from a random number table, because I number that shit, five games. Obviously, I'm not going to repeat, so after I play one, I'm crossing it off the list. And of those games, I just play each for 30 minutes. Uh, so this stream is going to be under under three hours. And then at the end, I'll, I'll rank them. I'll give, give my overall thoughts. If you, if you want a conceptual shit, how I used to explain it for the Master System grab bag was, imagine if you go to a fucking uh, flea market or a garage sale. And, you know, they have they have the system in like five random games. But here's, here's how I'm going to explain it this time. Imagine it's your birthday, and your grandma just lost her fucking mind. Like, she's she's gone. She's she's nowhere. She is no longer the person you once knew. So she goes out for a birthday present for your ass, and she just... She's not buying you just one game. She's buying you five games. But she knows jack and shit about gaming, because she's a grandma. So she's just grabbing the first five she sees randomly. And then she's just rushing and just handing you that shit, and you're like, Grandma, what the fuck? I don't even play sports games. I don't even play racing games. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, what is this? This is uh, Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, beautiful music. Oh, what we're listening to right now, if you want that music, um, it's just called Relaxing PS1 Music 100 Songs. Uh, so it's a four and a half hour video. But honestly, a uh, pretty good mix. This guy uh, knows his shit. Uh, I guess from last year, last November, so only a few months old. Anyway, we'll uh, cut that shit out. And, yeah. So, 30 minutes each, I'll have the timer set. Timer will start when I start the games. And I'll be running this from RetroArch. So, hopefully I can get everything set up. Uh, it could be worse. Could have bought it off as he then, too. Oh, yeah. God damn it, Grandma. Empty made a video about that a few years ago. Oh, oh yeah, when he was uh, at a birthday party, and <laughs> his, his friend got Final Fantasy X too, and like, he was like, no, don't play that shit. <laughs> and he got like embarrassed in front of all his friends. Great shit, great story. Anyway, um, yeah, we're, we're just gonna dive into this fucking thing. Hopefully, yeah, it's working. Um, I had to do some fucked up shit <laughs> with uh, DS4 Windows in order to get the... Rumble working for RetroArch, kind of fucking weird. It makes it identify, and it is current year after all, so my PlayStation 4 controller is identifying as a 360 or an Xbox One controller as far as Windows is concerned, so that way I can get the uh, Rumble, because that's part of the experience. Um, shit, so what's what's first on our list? Oh, uh, briefly, let me, uh, let me talk about this. So just, just mentally, um... To note, I consider, because the PlayStation 1 came out first in Japan in 94, but only a few games came out, I consider early games, like 1995 and 1996, right, which was before the DualShock, and then the cutoff for the mid-games for me is 1997, because that's when the DualShock came out, that's when uh, fucking Final Fantasy VII came out, that was like a big, big move for the console. And then I consider late tier anything, any late releases is something that came out 2000 onward, considering the uh, PlayStation 2 came out. So, with that in mind, first we're playing Samurai Showdown 3, Blades of Blood, which came out in 1996, so I consider this an early release. This was pretty dual shock. And uh, you'll notice that Samurai Showdown 3 is spelled fucked up. I never knew it was spelled sh fucked up, but that's actually how it's spelled. All right, let's uh, let's fucking do this. I will run it, and let me get the uh, this shit set up. Uh, PlayStation Two controllers identifying as a PS3 controller. Says Gaseous. <laughs> Some buttons are broken. Jesus. 
It sucks. Yeah, I never had the six axis. Go figure, because I never played a uh, PS3. Hold up, what is my goddamn clock? There we are. And I did say clock. So let's run this shit. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. <laughs> Moment of truth. There we go. Oh yeah, it takes a little bit to load. I um fucked with the setting in order to make it so it loads the entire game into RAM first, so that way uh it doesn't like if it's loading or some shit happens to the background, it's just it's a super smooth. That was a cool setting that RetroArch offers. I'm using the Beetle hardware core for RetroArch, and if you play PlayStation 1 games, I strongly recommend it, because in my understanding, it's very accurate. Really, no no intro, huh? All right, this looks very arcadey. SNK. So let's do option. All right, so we have buttons and shit. All right, we're, we're gonna be level four. Let's uh, let's just do this. Anyway, I like it extra crispy and crackly because having all these shaders and curving and all this weird shit, right? I don't know. It's just not accurate to how the system, act, uh, you know, originally was. I'm loading time. Oh, oh all right. <laughs> all right, so we can do a Super Saiyan charge, uh, torso attack, dodge attack. Turn. X and O. Alright, alright. Square and O. Nothing should ever be math for both square and O simultaneously, for the record. Um, that's that's no good. Anyway, I know of this game, and I think I feel like I actually played this on an actual uh what is that console called? The one with the giant cartridges by SNK? I actually played that shit. Uh when I was in Japan, my uh my homie when I was over there actually bought one and like I didn't even give a fuck about that. Is that the OBS symbol? You know what? It did look like it. Alright, so we have uh, main character man. Our normal uh, gaijin. I'm assuming he's supposed to be a dirty, dirty round eye white pigu because he's white and has blonde hair. Right, we got a ninja. Alright, we got the lolly, a chick with a hawk. Nice. I mean, I guess I'll just go with this guy. Let's go with this guy. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Okay, okay. I'm a little overwhelmed here. Guard. Im Impossible. Oh, wait, what the fuck? You can't... <laughs> oh, my God. Upper grade. You can't, you can't block. Fuck you. All right. And then you have auto guard. Yeah, I guess we're just doing medium. So always block, never block, or have the option to block. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna go with that option. That seems... Normal. It seems natural. Suppose we cut off there at the bottom. <laughs> Shit, I hope I hope I hope the emulation is solid. I, I I double checked all the settings. I feel like it should be fine. Any weird oddities should be just uh, part of the game. But do let me know if anyone played this. But anyway, I I kind of like the idea of doing this because I a will eventually one day get to play all <laughs> all like fourteen hundred. Oh god. Oh, get the fuck out of my way. Kinda of weird, you get to run around before. Oh shit, kick me in the face. Oh. What is with that shit turning into a log? That's so fucking weird. All right, this guy is fucking crazy. Holy cliche animation. <laughs> this, is, this is surprisingly fast, honestly. You know what I played a lot of growing up? Bushido Blade 2. I actually thought that was a pretty awesome. Pretty awesome game. Uh, some people really liked Bushido Blade 1 more. I played Bushido Blade 1. It seemed extra, extra janky. People seemed to like the idea that you could get your leg, both legs, and arms just fucked up and just be a cripple and, like, crawl like a fucking caterpillar. 
towards your enemy. Like you're the uh, Black Knight from uh, Monty Python, the Holy Grail. Damn, I need to fucking time that a little bit better. This guy is very fucking mobile. Get away from the bomb. Shit. See, I'm doing like a horizontal swipe during my. I want to like. Oh shit, you fucker. Oh wait, he has to come to me. No! Fuck! Shit. Alright, Galford's pretty cool. Yeah, this, this ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. But yeah, um, I forget that, uh, I forgot rather that Bushido Blade was square. Square has some good shit, dude. Shit, goddamn. Fuck, fuck your counter. Man, when you run, you have some serious momentum. It's hard to, uh... Oh, there you go. You can do a Senpu. Which is Japanese for Senwind. Uh, Squaresoft was great. The Square Enix merger is trash. Oh, dude, I 100% agree. Yeah, this, this ain't bad. <laughs> Not, not bad for first game. I had the entire fucking PlayStation 1 library to draw from. And we got a pretty fucking decent fighter here. I mean, I have, I'm half just button mashing, but it's fun. But, like, you can see, you know, you can see how it's an early PS1 game, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm telling you, man, it's just, it's kind of weird. That dual shock. Dueling is my raison d'etre. All right, Frenchy. He's not a Jap. He's a Frenchman. Which is extra scary, if you ask me. <laughs> you can tell it's early PS1 because there's no 3D in it. Actually, um, uh, Sony of America actually prevented a lot of the 2D games coming over from the very, very early games. I'm talking like 1995. Because they were really worried about... I, I don't know, like, there's this, this fucking concept that 2D was dead, but then, you know, you have, uh, go figure Castlevania coming out and blowing people's minds. Anyway, what's up, Darcy? How you doing today, dude? Oh, get the fuck away from me! <laughs> oh my god. Look at the balls on this bitch, holy shit. Damn, Senpu is pretty cool. I can be a real cunt with that one. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, that was a cool fucking move. Damn! Alright! <laughs> this, this game's not bad, actually. Ah, uh, fuck, so what was, what was the SNK console called? Um, the one that was ginormous? With... <laughs> Um, the uh, Neo Geo, yeah, there we are. Yeah, so I actually played Neo Geo before, which is fucking rare because that shit was expensive and I didn't even know about that shit. But my friend when I was over in Japan was like an, you know, super early, this was like back like 2011. So he was a real, uh, real fedora tipper and like immediately went out to grab a, uh, Oh shit! God damn! To get a Neo Geo and um, what was the other one that was popular in Japan? The 8-bit one that's like kind of pseudo 16-bit Turbo Graphics or I guess PC Engine over there. Interesting. This is pretty cool. Oh, I haven't even been fucking with like the circle. <coughs> Whoa! The circle square combo, which that's fucking awkward, man. Um, let's see, if you like arcade games, the Neo Geo was the home arcade experience, yeah. Also, um, Tur Turbo Graphics also had uh, quite a few arcade, like, shooters, uh, side-scrollers, run guns, that was, like, pretty much the entire library. But, um, yeah, it's weird, it's weird that Nintendo was like, yeah, we're gonna go for a weird 
side thing. That's one of the reasons why I like Sega. Is Sega Genesis, they kind of... It was a lot of arcade shit, but they kind of went in a route where they... You know, they had some RPGs, they had some of this, some of that. You get a really weird lineup, but it's um, a lot of coverage of a lot of different genres. Uh, let's see, Neo Geo was ahead of its time, very ambitious. Uh, let's see, a lot. Both awesome, limiting to its library. Oh god. It's got the fucking prayer beats. Which is better than the other kind of beats. Damn, look at this level. This actually looks pretty cool. Hold on, let's uh, scoot this shit back. Alright, fucker! Fuck! <laughs> There we go. Oh shit, I missed my kick. Oh shit, he grabbed me. He's the fucking Zangiev of this game. Fuck, oh, he's kicking my ass all of a sudden. Shit, no! Um, he just got bombed. No! Oh, that's so close! Yeah, you can see a shit ton of dithering. You see that shit? So dithering's like the the checker mark pattern. I, you know, I was watching a video on that actually. It's uh pretty fucking interesting. Um, so to my understanding, the PlayStation had like a mode that had a wider color palette, but it was not practical to use. Oh shit! Damn, you have so much momentum. What the fuck? So a lot of um, games would choose the lower color palette version. Shit. Oh god. Because it would just run- Oh, I don't have my sword! Holy shit, I didn't even like realize that! Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> I was wondering, why are my, all my moves different? That would- that would be why. Uh, hilariously, um... <laughs> Just don't ask why those beads smell earthy. Shit. Fuck. Um, hilariously, that was the traditional Asian booby trap. Poison was to smear crap all over everything. Interesting. Oh, shit! I remember, um... Learning the uh, term night soil from Japanese history, which is just shit. I think it was like motherfuckers would like steal shit from cities, like farmers from outside, because it was such a good uh, fertilizer. I don't know, I could be pulling that out of my ass, uh, ironically enough. Oh, is he, what is he doing to me? She like ran off to the side, uh, and something's going on to the left there. All right. Um, let's see, what the fuck am I? Alright, we'll do, we'll be ABBA. We'll be three members of ABBA. Alright, let's continue though. Shit, I had to look back at the timer because I'm thinking, uh... You know, shit. I hope, I hope my noise-canceling headphones aren't that good. Okay, we can change our, uh, character. Let's be this guy, this, uh, fucking Bukake. He's got the Bukake mask. The, uh, traditional Japanese theater. Where you like overact and you like smear like bukake makeup all over your face. That's where you get the like the background where you're like, oh, dum, 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 dum. Hey! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is that? I, I, I wonder. I hope someone knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Like the cliche uh, Japanese sound. Oh, get the fuck! Out. That makes me so like anxious, you know. Oh shit! Look at me. Oh, what the fuck was that? He was closer. Fuck you. All right. This guy's quick. 
shit, that does not have a whole lot of range. No! Get off! <laughs> shit, so close. Shit, now get away from me! <laughs> There we go. Alright, I like this guy. He's got a fucking Naginata. Sergeant Kabuki man. Why <laughs> beat it? He might got some he might be on something there. Unless that's from something. Oh shit, look at him! I really like this fucking level. Oh shit. And uh, I didn't see that there was like dynamic levels, yeah? Kind of like um that other SNK fighter. Uh, cause there's what? There's King of Fighters, and then there's the other one, Fatal Fury. I never understood the difference between all that shit. What do you think? What I think of your most recent video, Gaseous? Um, the one where he's playing the uh, spooky game, right? That was cool. Um, I watched. I watched like about half an hour of it. But yeah, that intro. I, I feel like that game does open up later on. Shit! Come on, you fucker! Damn. Um, but that intro to that game, you're really confined to hallways, and it's really, really scripted. But I did see that it, it it opened up later, and you were outside, and that shit looked cooler. Shit! Oh, like right outside of my fucking. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Like the, the shine. Just Japanese, by the way. <laughs> no, get out of here. There we are. There we go. Whew. Fucking getting a little sweaty here. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I was originally going to do um, Street Fighter V today, but I really wanted to... My, my concept, right, is to do... Just because the PlayStation 1 library is big. Do like one of these in the first half of the month, one of these in the second half of the month. And then for the Genesis grab bag, do one a month. Because the Genesis library is about half the size of the PlayStation 1 library. Crazy, man. No, PlayStation 1 sold like fucking hotcakes globally, dude. Whereas the Genesis only really sold big outside of Japan, which is crazy. Loading. <laughs> gotta, love, gotta love these loading screens. Gotta love the PlayStation. It teaches you patience. Alrighty then. Oh, can we get the fuck out? Oh my god, I get. Yeah, dude, I cannot explain how much anxiety that gives me. When it's like they're just walking towards me, but we both can't do anything. Oh shit. I'm on the receiving end of this guy's uh, Senpu. No! Oh, what the fuck is this super attack? God damn! Shit, wow, I just- that- that changed quick, man. There we go. Ooh. The Sega Genesis in Australia. Wait, what's it called, the uh, Genesis in uh, Australia? I thought that was, uh... Mega Drive, which, you know, that's like one of the few cases where there's two different names in two different locations. And I actually think both- both names are pretty cool. Whoa, did I just perfect this motherfucker? Sega. That would be cool, turn on the uh, Genesis and they're like, you know, instead of the Sega, it's just like, oi, it's fucking Sega. You fucking cunt. What a great death scene. I like this guy, this guy's pretty cool. 
Uh, let's see, we got about 10 minutes left of this game, and I don't mind. I'm liking this. this is oh shit, look at us! The sword <laughs> shines death without mercy. I practiced <laughs> I practiced the sword while you were <laughs> out banging chicks and partying. While you were attending college, I was practicing the sword. <laughs> and only now <laughs> barbarians at the gate. Do you come to me and ask me for help? I like these cutscenes. This is a very basic game, though. I'm thinking this is a probably direct port from an older uh, SNK Neo Geo game. Oh, okay. Whoa, God! <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Shit. Stop jumping around like an asshole. You can tell I'm like try hard mode when I'm si <laughs> when I'm fucking silent, dude. Oh, he can block in air. This is like a uh, guilty gear in that way, then. This is a pretty cool game. All right, we got a hydration. Hold up in, in a second, buddy. Hold up, I'll do I'll do all like shadow rewards like in between games. We got a uh, eight minutes left, or during a loading screen, to be fair. Oh God! God damn! Shit, I'm trying to do like my run attack, because the run attack seems pretty cool. <laughs> I should have come on Doshi. I might, I might do that. Um, That and like the so good, I actually might like that one even a bit more. Fuck! No! <laughs> Shit! So close. Damn. Jumping around like a dick. Oh, that was a good combo. <laughs> Shit. Man, running seems like a very bad idea. Seem to get fucked up a lot. Go. Oh. Shit. There we go. All right. The very meaty hits. Yeah, this ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. I could see this um cuz I'm not really sure how other fighters were on the PlayStation 1. Like I was saying, the only thing I really played was uh Bushido Blade 2 in terms of fighting games one on one. And that game was a blast, but it is gimmicky. But this ain't bad, so I'm not I'm not entirely sure how the other fighting games handled on PlayStation 1. Oh shit, oh god! <laughs> I saw the text box and I hit the fucking uh, X button. Just out of pure habit. Oh my god. Alright, we're fighting we're fighting Slash apparently from Guns N' Roses. Uh, play Street Fighter Alpha 3 on PS1. That was one of the best. I got you, I got you. I hear that one-on-one -on -one fighters were really, really good on the Sega Saturn, as long as you had that weird RAM cartridge in. Um. Oh, come on, get the fuck away from me, dude. Oh, we get some fucking crazy cool music here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, all right. Shit. Can't. Ah, uh, no. There we go. Uh, let's see. They were arcade perfect on Saturn. With the ramp cart. Same with the Dreamcast. There we are. I did my hydration. Okay. All right, motherfucker. Oh shit, he picked up life? What the fuck was that? <laughs> That's fucking bullshit, they're life drops? Oh shit, oh look at, look at you motherfucker! Oh shit, he <laughs> teleports behind you, nothing personal kid. Oh my god, I lost my- oh wait, no I did not. Oh shit, no! Alright, oh, no, run away! <laughs> that's, the, that's the pussy win right there. Does hydration come from the sound clip when someone subs? It, uh... Oh no, the hydration should be in the chat reward with the loop fist. You should have a loop fist icon or or maybe something just went over my head. There we go. There we go. Alright, we got three and a half minutes. Yeah, this is good though. I'm liking I'm liking this quite a bit. I assume that is what's drunk. Oh yeah, water. It's gonna be water. Because uh, I'm not I'm not a big drinker. We we had this conversation before. I'm not a big drinker, uh, but I do enjoy beer. A lot of different kinds of beer. Don't like don't like getting drunk though. I'm uh shit. Shit fucks fucks with me. Oh, look at this crazy motherfucker. Oh, he's a spooky boy. Shit. Just keep stabbing you, motherfucker. Shh, damn. So I think counter does like extra damage. Hey, there we go. Got like one of those big ass like uh, what do they call them? Like Puma Shuriken. The like comically large ones, which I'm pretty sure never existed. <laughs> Maybe they did. Maybe like one dude made it once and it looks so uh, fucking ridiculous that they're like, oh, Japanese history, full of ninjas and shit. And a Tori Hanzo. Oh shit, little fucker. There we go. Poke you right in the face. Oh, a Tori Hanzo is a playable character in this game? I fucking believe it. Just cliche Japanese shit. Whatever, whatever you can imagine, it's probably in this game. Yeah, man, for an early uh, PlayStation 1 game, and I, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Every time I think of the PlayStation 1 and the pre-DualShock controller, I think of Sony's really, really, really shitty um, PlayStation 1 Classic, which I know that people can mod it and throw in all sorts of games, and as long as you're not looking forward to a uh, DualShock game. Or, you know hoping not to play something in the PAL territory format, it can be good, but man, that shit was like a hundred fucking bucks, dude.
There we are. Uh, Genjuro. Oh, nice. This this place reminds me of an um. Fuck. What was that one movie? It's it's uh. What? Yojimbo, which is my favorite Kurosawa film. And the reason it's my favorite Kurosawa film. Oh shit! What the fuck was that? The reason it's my favorite Kurosawa film, right? Is it's not four hours long. Yojimbo is like an hour twenty. And that's all it needs to be, and it's a very good movie, and it's fun. So, uh, strong recommendation. I only play- I watched that one because, uh, you know, massive weave, right? So, when there was that, shit, the timer's up, I want to kick this guy's ass. That's how you know it's a, it's good. Oh, yeah! See, the life is good when I'm getting it. Not so much when these other motherfuckers are getting it. No, no, I need to- I need to kill you! All right, let's turn off the timer and we'll watch this last cutscene. Shit, this is pretty cool. I like this. This could also be a really fun with a friend, much like Bukake. Nice, nice. Do I get cutscene before I leave? Do I get cutscene before I leave, motherfucker? What a great death scene! No, I don't get shit. <laughs> Loading, please. I just, I just want to see if we get another cutscene. No, we don't get shit. All right. Oh no, 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 not that button. What button was it? Ah, this one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So that was Samurai Showdown Three: Blades of Blood from 1996. Not bad if a simple 2D uh, arcade conversion. Next game on our list is NHL Power Play 1998 from. 1997. So uh, I'm not big on sports games, so I'll try my best to uh, enjoy this and try to get into it. How do I? How do I do shit? Um. Oh. Ah. Look at that. I'm figuring it out. All right. NHL Power Play. Let's do this shit. Oh, and I set it up to make it like the actual Dual Shock controller, where there was that little button in the center where you can turn on or off. Uh, the analog stick support, right? Alright, fucker. Oh yeah, it's gotta load. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's gonna take a take a second. Um, but in order to do that through RetroArch, right, what it is is you have to hit the L1, R1, start and select all simultaneously, and that's kinda of bullshit. There should be an option to uh switch that around. Loading. I guess this is a massive uh, game. Once again, this is a result for me uh, checking off the option that makes it so the entire game loads into RAM before it plays. Which, uh, I don't know. If it's too painful, turn it off. Hopefully that's good. Did I uh, fuck something up? Oh, there we are. I think I, I, think I all tabbed out of that shit. I want my fucking life back! <laughs> nice. Well, right now, nothing's uh, showing up. There we are. Jesus Christ. Why, why, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why, why, do you, why are you making me paranoid? OBS. There we are. So hitting start right now. Good, good, good. Yeah, so this would be uh, what I consider a mid-release for the PlayStation 1. So because this came out in 1997, I'm not entirely sure if there is DualShock support. Oh, look at look at you, motherfucker. Was this fancy shit? Obviously, it's just a video file, but even so, damn, it looks good. Silly, I want you to remember this is like mid 90s shit. So I don't really know shit about hockey, other than it's uh, cooler, more action-oriented soccer, where people fight. Once again, if I had to like, rank the sports, soccer is maybe slightly above croquet in terms of uh, gayness. All right, I, know, I know that's called a Stanley Cup. Stanley is the guy who makes them. 
Uh, hockey is men in uniforms beating something colored in black with sticks. <laughs> Shit, that's fucking really good. Hockey is men in uniforms beating something colored black with sticks. I like it. I like it. I'll, I'll remember that one. I'll, I'll use that one. I'll steal it. Alright, NHL. Oh, we got the Mighty Ducks. Is, uh, is Mighty Ducks like an actual thing, or was that just the movie? I, I don't think I've ever seen the movie. Although I do know there was the South Park episode that uh, played off that one. Where it was like the the kindergartners playing. The kindergartners were playing hockey, and then at the end they got to go up against the Mighty Ducks or some shit, and they just beat the hell out of them. That was back when I watched it. Is, do I press start, or is this just... <laughs> what are we doing? This looks rendered. Well, I'm just gonna... Alright, alright, game. The clock is ticking. So we got quick start. Oh, is this like one of those things where you can like play through the whole season? I do kind of like that. Oh, nice. We got some 90s edge rock. Almost sounds a little Slayer-ish. Um, let's see. So we got a wrist shock. Shocked. There we are. Gotta shock your wrist, bro. Um, all right. Ooh. Ooh, boy. All right, so we got we got a small hit, big hit, and I guess blocking. So let's think about this: like technical, basic, passing. Oh, we got we got just punch, punch shit, speed and punching. Got it. Yeah, this is like punch, like fighting is legit part of hockey, which is kind of crazy. Unused. All right. So I don't fuck with uh, L2. All right. So how do I how do I leave? No 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 no. Fuck! I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck fuck everything up. All right. So this triangle is leave. They tolerate fist fights in hockey's. Yeah. So it's not like officially part of the rules, but they just do it and they you know not necessarily look the other way, but they're not gonna fucking throw you out of the league or anything. No, I agree. They um they have made a lot of sports uh. A lot more pussy -y. Especially football, which is crazy. Alright, I guess a little start game. World tourney, playoff, season. Let's do a season, fuck it. Uh best of one. I mean why not? Why not? We'll do we'll do basic here. A little overwhelmed here, but I'll try to remember. Try to remember shit. All right, so we get to choose who we is. Nice. Back when they used to have, we're allowed to have Indians as logos, and now, no, we can't. We can't have that. White people, okay. <laughs> Indians, no. Detroit Red Wings. I know. I know some of these teams. Some players like the Flyers. I know some people will probably hate me. Or we could be the Mighty Ducks, I don't know. Yeah, let's try let's try the Flyers, fuck it. No, I'm I'm in the I'm in the general, you know, tri state area, you know, Maryland, Delaware, PA. Uh there's so many new teams renamed at this point. Yeah, it's it blows my mind that shit still happens. I mean just always when I rarely watch football anymore, it's you know what the Chargers? That shit still blows my mind. What are they now? Fucking like L.A. Chargers or some shit. Um. Okay. Enter name. <laughs> shit, we don't have time for this, so I'll just be V. V for vendetta. I got my my Guy Fox mask on. The dirty Frenchman in in my my memory. Um, let's see. I was looking at NHL teams the other day. Didn't know half of them. Yeah. Aki is watching your favorite team choke when they reach the finals. <laughs> I like that. No, um, I, uh, grew up in Maryland. So, you know, right when the, uh, Ravens were established as a team. So, they, uh, they show up to playoffs a lot. 
And how many do they have? They got two rings, yeah? They got two rings. Alright, well, I mean, damn, look at this. You got all the nerdy shit you want. Guess we'll just play, right? I mean, I, I do have to give him credit. If you want, like, a, uh... Like a simulation. I mean, do you got that? We got more shot power and accuracy passing. All right, so we're just be <laughs> we're just better. We're just better in every fucking way except stamina. Good. All right, let's kick the shit out of these assholes. These filthy Canadians. Loading. All right, <laughs> even I'm gonna need all the help I can get in terms of stats. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I know, I know people really, really like NHL 94 for the Sig Genesis that's seen as the best, apparently. People still update that with modern uh, teams and shit. Ooh, that looks a little, <laughs> that looks a little wild and wacky. Well, yeah, I gotta love that Z-Texture warp. So apparently, I, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not like a master of any shit. Oh, okay. Is that me? Did I just shoot? <laughs> did I just did I just fuck someone up? I already got a penalty. Shit. Philadelphia penalty to number 19. Two minutes for Ah, okay, yeah. So this might be before um Dual Shock. In fact, let's check that. How do I like I hold it for a second? No, that doesn't seem to be working. All right, we're we're just playing playing as is then. No dual shock right now. All right, all right, hey, hey, uh, where am I going, motherfucker? Right, so we can like switch players and shit. Yeah, let me just pass it to the goalie. That's that's what we want to do. <laughs> Shit. I'm, like switching the uh, characters just enough to make sure they're. Oh, okay. He's fucking beating my ass up against the wall. <laughs> Wait, let me pass to him. Well, wasn't that like a, a bit in um, what Water Boy, where he just he just passes to the other team? You just lost us the game, Needle Dick. Uh, the goal of hockey is to hit the goalie with the neck of <laughs> in the neck with the fuck. Didn't someone die that way? I, I feel like I was actually uh, looking up deaths in uh, various sports just because, you know, morbid. I can't help it. I have morbid curiosity. Same thing when it comes to, like, plane shit. I swear, my uh, search engine results probably have the FBI hard on my ass. I have to say, at least I'm not. <laughs> shit, at least I'm not doing terribly bad, uh, in my view. It's zero zero. I'm not losing. Yeah, you know, if I play a soccer game, that's that's what happens. It's like zero fucking forty. And then I just turn that shit off. The last time I played a soccer game, um, no, that was for the uh, Master System grab bag, actually. And I played another, um. So, yeah, pass it to the wall. I played another soccer game because it was... I was trying to play some of the games that were on the... Uh, Super Nintendo Classic console, right? Alright, I wasn't even controlling them. And apparently there was like a really shitty soccer game that was on the uh, Japanese Super Nintendo Classic. Shit. Oh god, what did I do? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? It was like headbanging there. But yeah, it was kind of weird though. The um, Super Nintendo Classic in Japan, that game li lineup is actually pretty shitty. Uh, you mean Mega Man Soccer? Not that one. Uh, they, they just have straight up um, a soccer game. On the Super Nintendo Classic, uh, it's like, I think it just might just be called Soccer or some shit. It was a really early release, so apparently, I don't know, apparently it was popular in Japan, but still. Uh, they got 
I think there's one game on the Japanese um, Super Nintendo Classic that I think... Shit. Shit, you little fucker. Shit. That um, I feel like we kind of got robbed on, but there's like four games on our system over here. All right, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Shitty, <laughs> fuck, it's hard to shoot. <laughs> Japanese really, uh, art of the Japanese, really so America-centric that they commonly... Oh yeah, no, 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 um, yeah, in, uh, Japan, you, you gotta remember the, um, the first people, the first white men to, uh, open up Japan. Whereas the Portuguese and the Dutch got to Japan first, the first uh, people who opened up for a trade was America. All right, all right. Shit. Look at this fucking name, Howdrechuk. Oh, look at these fuckers. No. So uh, when I think I'm assuming that when they learned of soccer, they learned it from America. So they're like, oh yeah, this is soccer. So the Japanese word for soccer is soka or soka. Yeah, I think it's like soka or some shit. I don't know. It's not like I fucking ever talked to a motherfucker about soccer, so it's not exactly a word I use too much. Yeah, yeah. I think it's I think it's actually soka. You would think it'd be Soka, but I think it's actually Saka. But I, I could be wrong. Don't, don't fucking... Don't quote me, boy. I ain't say shit. <laughs> no, fuck! Yeah, this play... This doesn't actually play too bad. I just don't know the fucking controls. If... Um... Maybe with some experimentation playing with a homie, this could be pretty cool. Very much Japan extra Siruburu. Well, that's why, um, like we were watching, uh, Slam Dunk, right? On the Discord, and for example, the, the word for basketball shoes, you can say, like, Basketoboru shoe, right? But that's such a fucking pain in the ass to say in Japanese that they'll say, like, Baske, like, Basket. Ball shoes, so baske. Uh, oh wait, no, bas, no bas, <laughs> bashu. I think I think that's it, bashu, right? So a lot of um, words are like super truncated, including uh, Dragon Quest. So if you talk about like Dragon Quest over there, um, what the word is, uh, Dorakue. <laughs> oh shit! I'm trying to shoot in my old goal, dude. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck. Oh man, let me just own goal real quick. <laughs> Fuck. Piggy shitu, gitu hitu, waitu piggy. Yeah. But yeah, but there is, um, oh my god. I'm not like. I could have sworn I set that to be. No, I don't, I don't think. I don't think there's uh, DualShock support for this game, because DualShock came out in uh, '97, which is, so did this one. But if it came out beforehand, I don't know. I thought I had like a hotkey set up for like L1, R1, start and select, which is a pain in the ass um, hotkey to swap for the fucking record. Fuck. But uh, that that's just the default option for retro arc which i think is a pain in the ass got the center button but the center button brings up nvidia shit no fuck damn what's word what, like what is the score average for a hockey game is it like soccer where the average score is like zero two or is it more like basketball, where the end result is like 190 to like fucking three? Uh, first DualShock design was near perfect when it comes to controller design. Oh, I agree. 
Um, Dual Shock was great. That's that's one of the reasons why one of the many reasons why I had an issue with the uh... fuck <laughs> shit. No. With the um, PlayStation One Classic was I mean everyone who had a PlayStation One had a Dual Shock. I mean it's not like it was some obscure fucking thing. Everyone had it. Because once again, I think um, around the same time as Final Fantasy VII, and I think like what, Tomb Raider 2 come out that time, or right? just, just like a bunch of the generic titles for the PlayStation One. You know, DualShock, DualShock was out. Everyone is buying it. It's kind of like uh, Sega Genesis, right, where most of the sales came after fucking Sonic One. So that would have been what, 91? <laughs> Shit, did he just steal the fucking puck from me? Uh, using a PS1 DualShock for my PC, the adapter thinks it's a PS3. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I strongly recommend a DualShock 4. They're really good, but I guess at this point, people are going apeshit over the DualSense. I can't really say... for sure. <laughs> Shit, overtime, 0-0. Zero, zero. Does this happen a lot in hockey? Overtime, 0-0. Zero, zero. Or would this be like a boring as fuck game? Nice. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did it go right in? No. I was hoping it went right underneath his, uh, his fucking legs. Over time is sudden death. Oh, speaking of sports games and uh, sudden death. Oh shit, did he just score on my ass? God damn it. Little fucker. Well, <laughs> GG motherfucker. I'm like one buttoning this fucking thing, so that's half the reason. Xbox One controller is really good. I would agree with you. I have a couple qualms with the Xbox One controller, and this is going to sound like my head is up my ass. I'm aware. Uh, well, my RRL homies bust my balls for it, but hear me out. The little internal ridge of the dual sticks, how it's angular. Now, that's not a problem for a little bit, but if you're playing like a really intensive round of like Rocket League or something, that can start, you can start to feel a little bit, which can be a bit distracting. Uh, what else? The D-pad. It's really good. It's clicky. It's leagues and bounds better than the OG Xbox as well as the Xbox 360. But if you play a hardcore, hardcore fighting game with that, oh, you're gonna you're gonna fucking break that D-pad. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess overwrite it. Overwrite V. Remember, remember the 14th of September. There, I think I got that quote right. <laughs> or the 21st night of September. There we are. We can like combine combine memes over here. All right, we got 10 minutes left of this, but um, I, I'm, <laughs> what if I hit L1 for health? I guess I have to hit L1 for health before I start to save. All right. Um, penalty summary. All right, let's get a little, little bit of penalty. Well, let's let's go into the next one. Back or select? I feel like if we go back, we have to go through some more fighting uh, fighting games. What the fuck am I talking about? Loading screens. There we are. Uh, let's see. Yassi says, need to find a good quality wired controller. I got you. I got you. Um, once again, if you... Ah, shit. See, that's a thing, though. If you want something for fighting games, I recommend the Hori Fighting Commander. But if you need... Uh, analog sticks. Well, actually, there's like a tiny-ass Hori controller that's based off the Fighting Commander that also has dual analog sticks, and that's pretty fucking good. Let's look at these real quick one more time now that we know kind of what we're looking at. We have Hook, Block, Save, and Smother. A wrist shot. Triangle is like hardcore, hardcore button. So hardcore hits, hardcore fighting. 
slap shot. That's probably what I should have been doing. Okay. Take a shot with this. Oh, yeah, I was hitting, like, X to pass it into the goal. <laughs> That's probably part of the reason. So, uh, triangle and circle are your two types of hits. Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to get it. How do I, how do I get the fuck out of here? Triangle. Beautiful. But once again, I think the first party controllers are actually really, really uh, obscenely good overall. I just, um... I prefer the DualShock 4 over the Xbox One. I hear that the DualSense is even better than that. So let's try a little bit now that we understand triangle and circle are to hit. I, you know, this ain't this ain't bad. I'm not a fan of sports games, like I said. But that said, this isn't terrible. I would consider soccer games, <laughs> generally speaking, fucking terrible. And obviously, I remember playing a little bit for the Super Nintendo. Uh, what what is that uh, basketball uh, NBA Jam? I was about to say Space Jam. That's just, <laughs> Space Jam is a little bit different. I remember playing NBA Jam? That wasn't bad. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm like trying to understand the controls. They're just like beating my ass. Yes, beat me, beat me like a drum. Shit. There we are. Yeah, booty blossom. Fuck. No, <laughs> fucker. Shit. Um. All right, unassisted. God damn it. Fuck you. Who are we even fighting? What what team is this? Uh, NBA Jam is probably the only great licensed sports game. Once again, I heard I heard that uh, NHL 94. People really, really like that one. Um, and actually, for the original Xbox, there was I, I think golf games in general have like translate really well to video games. But the um, oh look at you, fucker! All right, he's hurt. That's good. Um, let's see. What was I saying? Yeah, the Tiger Woods golf games. One in particular, I remember for the original Xbox, and that was pretty, uh... That one was pretty good. Fuck! <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Oh, man. You're not having some Mutant League fights or some shit? Ah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, um, how do you, how do you feel about Mutant League? I never played it, but I've seen the Mutant League hockey and the Mutant League uh, football. It's pretty good are good because you could do unrealistic ball controls for Tiger Wood golf games. Well, that's the thing. I think it, um, golf games in general, man, sur surprisingly good. It translates well. They haven't really changed much for a while. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, can I, like, beat the goalie to death? Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Oh shit, we gotta fight! Oh my god, look at these fucking abominations! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god. You know, I I'll notice that Zoomers in particular really bitch about uh, PlayStation 1 graphics. I don't know, man, I think that's part of the appeal, but yeah, like they just. Same thing with 64, it's not just PlayStation 1, but that whole generation. They're like, it looks so bad! It's like, fuck you, it wasn't for you. Suck a dick. <laughs> Shit. No! Fuck. There we are. I'm, I'm getting the, the fighting controls down a little bit. Fuck. Shit. Oh no! Shit. Shit. 64 is much worse looking selectively. Um. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I think both have their uh, issues. 64 has that fog issue and the um, those textures, man. Like think, uh, think Ocarina of Time when you're looking at the like the walls of Hyrule Field. That's because of the tiny, tiny texture uh, resolution. 
Um, but if you're avoiding that, I think it can look decent. I think both you kind of have to play to their um, parts. And then, like, you know, with uh, PlayStation 1, you know, if you want good... Fuck, I hit the pass button again. If you want good graphics, I think one of the best games graphically, however you feel about it, Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, and I, I prefer nine. I think nine's a fan-fucking-tastic game. But... Eight, eight does look better. But nine is, in terms of gameplay, infinitely fucking better. Although, once again, I, I actually don't bash uh, eight too much. Oh shit, I'm going the opposite way. God damn. Why do they do that in sports? Why do they do that in sports, actually? Like, is there some sort of belief that one side could be could be better than the other? I kind of understand it in, like, football, because, you know, if the sun is shining in your goddamn eyes, then, uh, that makes sense. But there's no, there's no sun in, uh, in hockey. They are indoors, I believe. Fuck. Get the fuck out of there! That was a pretty good shot. Uh, this game looks good in the overhead shots, but when it cuts to lower head angles... Oh, dude, 100%. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Then it goes to a fighting uh, angle, and oh my goodness, it's uh, it's a little spooky. Um, beat this guy's ass! No, <laughs> no, daddy. Hold up! I wanna no. Fuck! Aw, oh, fuck you! Dude, they penalty me. Once again, I, I think about like Mutant League hockey and all that shit where you can, um, which once again, I never played, but I've seen footage of where you can like bribe the, oh, they got another fucking goal? Fuck you guys. What, where you can bribe the refs? <laughs> it's pretty fucking funny. Oh yeah, shit, I was about to say, Darcy, um, you remind me. I don't fully understand it. So don't don't quote me on it, but there's a video on why the PlayStation 1 warbled so much, and it was that when something is behind something else, I believe that it unloads that Z-axis out of memory of what you can't see. So because polygons are constantly moving around, revealing and unrevealing shit, um, shit's loading back in and out. Fuck. So that creates the warble. I think that's the case. I don't know. It's a, it's a little little complex. Fuck! Oh god! <laughs> you fucking dick! Holy shit! We got 45 minutes left. Maybe we can get maybe we can get one goal. This ain't bad though, honestly. Oh, okay. No! <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was a Hail Mary right there. Fuck! No, get the fuck out of here. Damn! Oh, fuck you. Fucking dickhead. Damn, we just got just anally, anally raped by uh, the STL. The Studacious League. I don't know. What is what is STL? Is that Stanley? Is he the guy who makes these fucking cups I hear so much about? Alright, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the end of that one. Yeah, not bad. Honestly. This this ain't this ain't terrible. Um, there we are. Okay, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You goddamn timer, piece of shit. And real quick, I want to make sure that the uh, controls are set the way I expect them to be set before we uh, continue forward. Yeah, it's something like that, yeah. Yeah, it's set to dual shock. And there was something I set somewhere for something. Fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still set up. Uh, L1, R1, and all that good stuff. Damn, wouldn't you, you would think it'd be in uh, controls, right? Analog type, yada yada yada. Yeah, that's that shit ain't there. If it's anywhere, it's gonna be an option. It's exciting shit, I know. Hold up. 
forgive me input Um, yeah, there we are. Uh, enable dual shot toggle. Oh, I have to do R1 and R... That's, see how fucked up that is? Select start L1, L2, R1, R2. You think, you know, I could just use the touchpad, because there's a touchpad on the uh, PlayStation 4 controller. Which I do actually like. I actually think it's a cool thing. Nothing utilizes it, obviously, but... Um, in, you know, back in the PlayStation 1 days, no one really utilized both analog sticks and the D-pad and R3 and L3, except for Ape Escape. And that was cool. But anyway, so now I need that. I hope I hope that wasn't... You know, actually, we can check that real quick. Let's, uh, let's check that real quick, actually. Nope. Nope. Uh, okay. So that, uh, that is not a thing. Okay. So that actually did not have DualShock support. Well, that's good. So we didn't, like, you know, shoot ourselves in the foot there. Because that's something where you would actually benefit from having analog. Alrighty. So next game on the list. We're making decent time here. Mobile One Rally Championship. Now, this game came out in 2000. So the PlayStation 2 was either out or coming out. So I consider this a late PlayStation 1 release. Which I think Final Fantasy IX also came out in 2000. I think that's one of the reasons why no one fucking played the thing. Um, everyone played Final Fantasy VII, then VIII came out, and everyone played it, for be for better or worse. And so everyone bitches about Final Fantasy VIII. And then no one played Nine, But it sucks, because Nine, I think, honestly was... And I don't mean to poop on anyone who is a big fan of Final Fantasy VII. I don't hate Final Fantasy VII, I just don't nut over it. Um, Nine, Nine was so good. As long as you can get over the art style, which I know some people really fucking hate that art style. I don't see why. It's just... It's just goofy fantasy shit. Uh, we got our we got our good old good old homies EA, EA Sports in your ass, daddy. <laughs> we got hot gen. Oh, and I was looking at this list of PlayStation One games. There is oh shit, I need to set this uh timer, don't I? There is a lot of sports games, a lot of racing games, and a lot of spooky games. And go figure. We got one of each of those three. Alright, let's watch this intro. Frame rate's a little fucky. I love the 90s. It was either edgy rock or, you know, the music and the intro scene of Blade. Euro beats, you know. All right, we got some Tokyo drifting. Oh, what's wrong, baby girl? I swear, sometimes my dog just loses her mind. What's wrong, baby? Are you okay? Are you okay, baby? What, what do you want? What do you want, dog? Some, some spooked my dog. I have no idea. What the fuck did you hear? The, the weather looks nice outside, baby girl, so... Maybe they're hunting or some shit? Damn, this is a long fucking intro. Yeah, I, I have no idea what's spooking my dog. Some, something is, clearly. I know, she looks like walk over me, look at me, and just start shaking violently. And like pacing around me. Mobile One Rally Championship, sponsored by Gasoline. Well, right now China number one, so we had to we had to say goodbye to oil. <laughs> we gotta buy Chinese processor and battery. Um, let's see here. I wonder if uh, this one has. Hey, look at that! Uh, analog support, good. So we have uh, audio settings. This is kind of a quiet game, huh? It's turning that shit up, huh? There we go. 
Um, I don't know. Do we want to be humongous pussies or play on medium? Let's play on medium. If we get our asshole just destroyed, is what it is. Time travel two player arcade or championship? Let's do uh, let's do championship. Fuck it. You gotta like how. The funny charm of the VW Group has turned its image around on the rally stages, and the Ibiza has been central to its campaign. We have Our some dirty limeys speaking in my video games. After a thrilling duel with Skoda, and it returned to clinch further titles in the following two seasons. We were binging on Top the Gear the entire time we were developing this fucking game. No, it actually is kind of impressive so though. <laughs> I'm just being an asshole. The Czech manufacturer, now under the umbrella of Volkswagen, has a long tradition in the Formula Two category. It's Octavia kit car looks set to follow the successful. It's cool. So it's it's kind of like what the shit had in Gran Turismo. We have uh, before we listen to it, we're just gonna choose maybe Ford, Smith. Nissan, Oops. Volkswagen, Renault Maxime Gam, Volkswagen Golf GTI kit. The Volkswagen. Do you know who invented uh or who um you know funded and chartered? And made Volkswagens. Very interesting. Actually, something like that. Ford Escort. Or Honda Civic. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Honda Civic or uh, Ford Puma. I don't know what the fuck the Ford Puma is. Ford Escort Maxi Kit Car. The wildest looking escort in history, Ford's Maxi variant was designed by... <laughs> the answer is hilarious, and I guarantee you did not see it coming. <laughs> the Volkswagen Beetle, yeah? Guess who invented it? Um, I think we'll go Ford. I mean, sh shit, I drive I drive a Mercury IRL, which is yeah, now, now Ford. But uh, Honda, I know, Fast and the Furious. I know they use those. That's that's the, like the extent I know about cars. I know quite a bit about Ferraris, but uh, I don't think a Ferrari is a rally car. We'll just play this one. Welcome to the Vauxhall Rally of Wales. The first round of the championship takes place in the treacherous forests of North and Mid Wales. Conditions on the narrow gravel tracks are usually extremely slippery, and with steep drops on the hilly tests and snow on the later stages, good car control is essential. <laughs> Ford was also very aware of the tiny hatter. So was Disney. Ford, Disney, Volkswagen. They were all <laughs> they were all on the same wavelength. Huh? Yeah, I will say. Oh God. Names on the roll of honor too. Colin McRae, Richard Burns, and Malcolm Wilson have all tasted the champagne on the season opener. While I don't care too much about this. I will say it is impressive that they have like fully voiced all of these, you know, explanations of, you know, all the cars and all of the tracks. That's attention to detail. That I do think it's cool. Um, so we have sun, daytime. Uh, that's pretty cool. Soft earth gravel. I think uh, Sega Rally also does the same shit. I was playing Sega Rally on my uh, PSP. A bad game car setup. Oh, look at you, motherfucker! Slicks. Oh God. All right, so we got a little little bit of autism here. Wet gravel, dry. I guess uh, gear up for dry gravel. Speed, uh, suspension. Once again, once again, Gran Turismo. It's a lot of that kind of shit as well. Yeah, we're we're definitely doing automatic. So I I do think that's interesting. As long as the gameplay is good, we might have another uh, decent game here. You can turn on the wipers. I like that. <laughs> Triangle is the wipers. That's awesome. Handbrake. We only use the handbrake. We we drift all over the fucking place. Um, gear up, gear down. Well, we're not gonna do that because we're driving automatic. But I will turn on the wipers to be a dick, just so I can hear that awful sound when you have your wipers on when it's not raining. You know, when you do that shit accidentally while driving, that's a great feeling. Okay. Visual settings. Showtime. God, you know, I like how there's all sorts of shit to turn on and off. It'll be Fisto as well, because I think of all the, like, Nintendo games in particular where they're like, no, you're not allowed to customize anything. Fuck you. It's always, always great. All right, well, let's, uh, let's do this shit. Surface data. Oh, I gotcha. 
Uh, Handbrake is a great app to encode videos. Oh, yeah, no, I used to use Handbrake. No, um, one of the times I was in Japan, uh, I was at this one school that had this audio library, right? Um, for just, you know, general language learning, and one of the things they had was, like, this huge DVD collection. Three, two, one, go! Interesting. Okay, oh, I... Driving with analog sticks versus oh, it's so it's so much better than the D-pad. But anyway, oh god, all right. But they had um, so I use handbrake to grab some of those shits. So I have uh, Terminator and the Departed and Snatch, all with Japanese dialogue, and that really helped me. Uh, oh god, really helped me here. So wait, this is the championship I chose, but there's... Is this like a qualifier? Alright, get back on the fucking road, dick. But anyway, yeah, I use, uh, I use handbrake for that. I will say I do prefer rally racers to, um, like F1 style racing games. I usually play like street racing style games. Ooh, that really breaks. But I do like the feeling of all the drifting and the chaos that is in Rally Racers. Yep, you know, it looks rough, right, to someone who hasn't played a lot of PS1 games, but the draw distance in particular is noticeably good. Yeah, you know, I'm not really seeing where it's loading in. Which that in and of itself is pretty impressive. Okay, don't go, don't go sideways. Honestly, you're oh shit, better off. Maybe I didn't choose the right tires. You're better off easing off the accelerator rather than using the handbrake. Let's go. Let's go in the woods. Spooky shit. I feel like this generation is when racing games really took off because really not a whole lot has changed other than uh, control, content, and smoothness of graphics. Because before this point, um, yeah, you had shit like Outrun, you know? Really, to me, the most impressive shit in the 16 bit generation was F Zero. Although I streamed recently. For the first time, I got it. Was that fucking game? Road Rash, and that was pretty fucking fun. Although that was also EA, go figure. Damn, I like overturned like a motherfucker here. Gotta be aware of that. I probably want to just ease off the accelerator. Right now I'm DSPing it. <laughs> I guess this is a qualifier because there's no other racers. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn. Fucking spun out of control. That's a pretty hardcore, hardcore turn. I feel like this is going for less arcade and more realism. I get the hang of it a little bit. Yeah, you kind of got to be a little bit more aware of your tires going in. This is like a qualifier. I hope that in between races there's like a big fucking ad for mobile. To piss off the environmentalists. Although once again, I try I try not to get too too political on my uh, streams, but I will say that shit was funny when um, I forget what douchebag politician it was, but they're like, if the economy and gasoline prices are hurting you, go <laughs> go out and buy a uh, an electric car, you fucking peasant. It's like holy shit. Oh damn. Okay. Dead last, motherfucker. 
It's going for a dirt track racing experience. Oh yeah, it's definitely um rally. I mean, that's in the title, rally racing. But I'm just saying, uh, something like Sega Rally is a lot more just goofy and arcadey. Not in a bad way either. That's like really fucking good. Save eighty dollars a month. Switch into electric. <laughs> so you'll uh you'll pass that point to uh, start getting back on your investment probably in like fifteen years. All right, so uh, now we're in Pen Pen at Channon Mill. All right, let's see if we can knock in dead last. Is it all just setting times? Is is that how uh, rally racing is done IRL, or do you actually like pass people? Yeah, no, the electric car situation is an interesting question because then you know how do you get the electricity? Well, unless you live new near a nuclear plant. It's with a uh, coal electrical plant, so, uh, hmm. A little strange. It really gets a noggin joggin. Oh my good lord. Shit, I should have looked at the, um, the, uh, track type. Oh shit, no! You fucker! Oh, dude, I agree with you, Darcy. Oh, no, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. No, it's it's all it's all political. It really is. All right, we're going to... Well, despite me being bad, I feel like it actually controls fairly well. Yeah, considering how many trash games are on the PS1, and there are a lot, I feel like Ovar. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, pay attention to the turns stuff coming. Um, I feel like we've kind of lucked out for this first episode overall. Like, even though I don't think any of the games we played are like amazing, not bad. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, what? No, no. Oh, that's gonna fuck, fuck our time. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck was that? I had to like disengage the uh, the reverse. Holy shit. Um. Hmm. Probably should have switched out my tires. I'm sure if your thing was uh. Rally racers. Uh, I wonder. I wonder how this this fared. Once again, occasionally I'll look at um, reviews from back in the day, and it's kind of interesting. Oh shit! Come on, motherfucker. Even though we bust the balls of game reviewers, right? Past 2010, before 2010. Like, they were better. They were better. They weren't, like, woke motherfuckers who actively hated video games. So some of them did have their, uh, biases, especially for certain, um, genres. That wasn't a bad turn. Ooh. Ooh. How far? Oh, God. <laughs> we are very far behind. Holy shit. Oh god. The dam was breaking in the late 90s. Oh, in terms of like reviews or in terms of uh, global politics? In terms of global pol- ah! <laughs> Rip. All right, good thing we, we had some uh, we had some low low wage workers on site to uh, flip my car over for me. Oh my god. Slip and slide. It's like there's a goddamn earthquake going on right now. Oh, video game review quality. It's it's interesting, man. I guess I guess I'd agree with you. It, it's weird. It's complicated because they were. I would argue they were actually gamers, but um, I think they were already accepting a lot of money from ad revenue. So they're uh, by, and also they themselves playing. 
especially for early 2D games. They were extra harsh on early 2D games and like late Genesis and late Super Nintendo games because they were like, oh no, everything should be 3D now. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. If you look at some of those older, older reviews. Oh God, come on, just, just stay on the road. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. I can tell you it controls good, I'm just bad. I, I can kind of tell that's the case. Now, how good of a game this is, I, I couldn't really tell you. You'd have to find someone who's, like, reviews older racing games, but not not terrible, honestly. Oh, oh wait, wait, no! Oh, shit. Pass the forklift, got it. You know, right now in my headphones, right, I'm hearing some... Fairly impressive stereo. Like when I pass shit, like some of that construction equipment we just passed, it kind of does give you a, a little bit of a 3D quality, so I wonder what kind of audio this shit supported. If it was like Dolby 5.1? I don't know. Or <laughs> did any did any games back then? Uh did any games back then support like anything more than 2.1 I wonder I, I actually have like no fucking clue I know some some games old school games surprisingly uh, some of them I think god what was it um, that Dragoon game the Star Fox style game on the Saturn what the fuck was it called I think that supported a 16 by 9 which is crazy but one of them maybe it was Zwei or Saga. What the fuck was that game called? It's not Legend of the Dragoon. Panzer Dragoon. There we go. Um, let's see. Uh, when you're getting paid to give every Ubisoft and EA game an 8, why even play the other games you have to review? Just give them a 6 and criticize the graphics. Usually got stereo or mono. Alright, so it's just, it's just very good stereo is what I'm hearing. Still impressive. Alright, let's try actually to be a little bit methodical here. Overcast daytime mirhen oh wait you're not gonna tell me i guess it's still in wales gravel loose gravel soft earth so would we want wet gravel cuz Oh, wait, wait. Nah, because that's not wet gravel, it's loose gravel, right? So that would be a little bit different, huh? It's not like it's raining or anything, not snow. Explain to me what slicks would be. What the fuck would slicks be? Like, if it's muddy and shit? We could do intermediate. I don't know, it's a lot of. It's mostly dry gravel and some loose gravel. The main takeaway though is gravel. All right, we'll uh, we'll just do this one. Slicks are F1 tires. Ah, so like roads. I got you. Not to not to trigger the uh, and caps. <laughs> Low tread, poor grip, high speed. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, once again, there, there's a lot of attention to detail. A lot of cars, they give you the history of the cars and all that shit. Is it Gran Turismo 2? No, it's no Gran Turismo 2. Is it still good? I think so. I think with a little bit of practice or if you're, you know, let's say back in time and you're really looking for another racing game, this could do the trick. But, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's a review out there for this game from someone who does a lot of older racing games. It's like, compared to other games, this game is trash. The announcer is from fucking New Brunswick and I'm from fucking Steins. Fuck that. I don't know, I have no idea what, what wacky locations you guys have over there. Some people can, like, pick out the, uh, different different accents I know Pikey I, I watched I watched snatch before to me it, it just sounds all British which is not English not proper English anyway 
Hey, uh, hmm, how am I so far behind? Am I doing that badly? Oh! There we are, alright, alright. Yeah, this... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. Uh... How am I doing that badly? I'm just surprised I'm doing that badly, you know what I mean? Because it feels like I'm not, I'm not flipping over, I'm not doing as shitty as last time. I'm still doing shitty, apparently. Maybe it's the fucking Ford I chose. I should have chose the uh, the Volkswagen. The Volkswagen. It's a nice little scene. You see that fully rendered mountain in the background there. <laughs> Fuckers. Um, you know what I noticed? No music. Which is weird because there's music in the intro. Is there like a music in option that I turned off? Cause I know I, I was fucking with the music volume. Hmm. I mean, I know that would break from the realism of hearing the engine, but uh, that, that I feel like that would be a fair critique of this game. Is no music, especially since that intro had such insane Euro beats. an overturn right there. Here, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit better here. A little bit. Kind of. Slightly. Oof. Man. That fucking time. Looks like mine's on the road right there. There's two uh, weird-ass potholes. You know, graphically, not bad. Once again, the draw distance is impressive. The fact that shit's not popping in is not of itself pretty uh, crazy. First time I saw Brad Pitt was in Cool World. <laughs> Didn't leave the best impressions. <laughs> I've never seen Cool World. I know of it. I know it's like R-rated uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which is a <laughs> interesting Hollywood. It's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, experiment you went with there. But I'm um, also in one Rift Tracks. Uh, I forget which one. They're explaining to uh, the main character that they were like. They're talking to the main character in the beginning. Something like, uh, You are a man born into two worlds. And the Retrax guys are like, World of Warcraft and Cool World. And I don't know, I always, always got a chuckle out of me. It's an R rated Roger Rabbit <laughs> made by Walmart. I like it. What if every character was Jessica Rabbit? Yes. <laughs> God damn, fur is ruining everything, even back in the 90s. Yeah, I kind of flubbed it towards the end there. God damn, we're getting our fucking asses handed to us. Actually, there's like a replay option too. Not bad, not bad. Once again, no, uh, no Gran Turismo 2, to be sure. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's bad. Not terrible. Oh, we got snow. Let's uh, set up our tires. Oh, shit, it does it. Okay, it doesn't automatically. So I'm just bad. Got it. That's cool. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for letting me know. Nah, bro, you just suck. You have to in initiate the turbo. What if I can, like, change view? Or there's like a uh, in the driver's seat view or some shit. Yeah, it, dude, the, the lack of music that is that is kind of weird. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> shit! Fucking puke city over here. I have Parkinson's. You gotta gotta lay off. Lay off me! Give me a fucking break! Oh, yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I can't take that one. Um, yeah, that's also not better. Oof, oof. 
It's gotta, we gotta be realistic though. It's, it's a shaky, it's a shaky trip. Oh my God! Yeah, if it wasn't for the shakiness, that would uh, be viable and kind of interesting. All right, stay on the road, Jackass. Seriously. That was a nice Tokyo Drift off the road. <laughs> Michael J. Fox is a talented cameraman. Indeed. Yeah, lack of music. The, uh... Once again, I'm kind of nitpicking now, but, um... Lack of music. The, uh, shakiness in the... Behind the wheel view. And I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just fucking terrible at this, but it seems that the other players are really good. The players we don't see. Uh, once again, so um, maybe one of you guys answered that and I just didn't see it. In rally racing IRL, is this how they do it? They just go one at a time? Or do they actively try to pass each other? <laughs> I feel like the latter would be dangerous, but would, would be also be more exciting. Because I do know in some videos I've seen of rally racing, and I haven't seen too much... You know, motherfuckers will stand right on the edge of the track. A lot of people almost dying. Don't uh, don't quite get it. Whoop! Yeah. Oh my god, you really do slip around like a motherfucker, huh? At least, at least you don't have to, you know, clear the shit in order to play. I mean, I guess regardless of whether we come in first or last, um, you know, the the gameplay is the same, you know what I mean? So it's nice that they're letting me continue to play. It's not like I lose a race and they're like, Alright, back to the menu. Get good, you piece of shit. It lets me it lets me play it out and I can I can appreciate that. Actually, I'm like looking at I'm looking down at the uh, timer which is done right now. So we're going to call it there but not not terrible. Not a terrible game. Um, if you're looking for a racer and have had your fill of Gran Turismo 2, not that I could foresee any way you could be 100% done Gran Turismo 2, unless you had some next level autism. But, uh, yeah, if you did, and, you know, there was more shit to play, then this, I feel like this would, this would be passable. Um, what are we doing? <laughs> what is that? Are you, are you doing like a Titus laugh in chat? Oh, that's that's what we should do. We should do a Titus laugh for uh, a sound reward. Um, what am I doing next? Uh, Covert Op, Nuclear Dawn, and this is a two-disc game from 2000. And speaking of which, we're gonna choose the first disc. Oh, Crankor? Ha 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 ha! Crankor is fucking great. I, I also need to fuck with that. I need to do that chat reward. Um, one thing I'll say about how I'm doing these parts is for the giant list i found of all the playstation one games released in north america it has each disc listed as a separate disc on the list so we're going to see an over representation of multi-disc games in these early parts because yeah i, I just i'm not going to go through every single fucking game on the list to delete the second and tertiary discs of these games right I'm just not going to do it. Um, so anyway, Nuclear Dawn, Covert Ops. I think it's a sequel to something made in 2000, so it's a later release game. So let's uh, let's do this shit. I think it's like an action game, kind of like Siphon Filter or Metal Gear, you know? And we have Dual Shocks off, so let's see if we can do that now real quick. Hey, we can do it during the bio screen. Nice. That's good. So let's uh, let's try this shit. The sequel, so obviously the first one had to have sold enough for this to even exist. 
And we got Activision. Them is that the right? Yeah, that's Activision. Well, they made Tony Hawk. That's that's about all I can remember, right? Uh, so when am I up to watching Angel's Revenge? We could do it late tonight. Fuck, Monday, Monday, I really want to do um, Slam Dunk. I just have to cut back on the... I just had to cut the streaming back, backwards, and start around, like, fucking not... <laughs> at not 5 p.m. Um, so how about Tuesday? Uh, no, fuck, that's a... Mm. No, 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 wait, wait a minute. T today is Today is Saturday. Let's shoot for tomorrow. Let's try to do uh, Sunday. And we'll try to do that. Sunday Angel's Revenge, Monday Slam Dunk. Yeah, that could work. Alright, let's see here. Alright, even though that's selected, I can't select it with dual shocks. Ooh, spooky. This is uh, some spooky atmosphere we got here. Got some, like, Ruskies at the train station. Oh, we want vibration on, baby. Sound stereo. Uh, left roll, roll right, crouch, turn. So rolls, crouch, and turn. Huh. There's a turn button. I wonder how that works. Attack, run, action, okay. Run, cancel. That's Metal Gear shit right there. Alright, looks like they're trying to channel some Metal Gear with, but like, more spooky. More spooky Metal Gear might be what we have on our hands right here. Oh, we're doing normal. Fuck you. Oh shit, we got- ah oh, fuck, I gotta set the timer. God damn it, motherfucker. Guarded by NATO soldiers. Hold up, I gotta start this. There we are. Um, the French ambassador and his family headed up. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Something about French ambassador. He's probably surrendering. Um, if you guys got to read that, Lieutenant, type I that shit. I never thought we'd be teaming up with the Russians. I bet the Russians are saying the same thing about us. We're almost at the Ukrainian border. All right. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Give it a try. Yes, sir. We're teamed up this with the Russians to attack Ukraine. All those stupid soldiers to hell. <laughs> Shit. Stand by for the first attack. We have four unidentified incoming choppers. Are those Russian backup troops? Negative. We haven't received any reports like that. They're launching their missiles! Three missiles at 7 o'clock! What the hell is going on? Oh my god! Stand by for the second launch. Party time. <laughs> All right, there's a train. We're on the train. Is there a Steven Seagal movie like this that I did not see? Let's go. Move it. Move out. Move out. Yeah, this is, this is Metal Gear as fuck. So we got terrorists, either Ukrainian terrorists or Russian terrorists. We're teaming up with the Russian government. It's pretty funny. To save a train. Hmm. Get the ambassador out of here! Wait, my family is still out there! Hurry up! It's pretty fucking intensive, honestly. I've never even fucking heard of this game. Have you guys? Hurry and get dressed now! <laughs> Mr. Ambassador, as you can see, you have no choice. And your white light means nothing to me. Mama! <laughs> you had better realize this. <laughs> it's only funny because they're French. Leave my family alone! How do you do, Mr. Ambassador? I am Boris Ugoski, the leader of our little band of terrorists called the Knights of the Apocalypse. Knights of the Apocalypse? What do you want? I am planning to use this train to obtain funds for our activities. What are you talking about? 
You're going to pay for this. Be quiet and listen. <laughs> Shit. I'm in charge here. Papa. No, Mr. Ambassador. You are mistaken. It is your government that is going to pay. Twenty billion dollars. And I brought this little toy with me to convince you. Attention, French government. We, the Knights of the Apocalypse, are now approaching your border. Wait, they're approaching the French border? I thought we were teaming up with the Russian government in Ukraine. I, know, I thought Ukraine and uh, France are a little bit far from one another. I, I don't know. It's It's been a while since I've seen a map of Europe, but I'm pretty sure Ukraine, <laughs> Ukraine and France are, you know, they're not too close. <laughs> maybe, maybe a couple of miles away. <laughs> uh, nu uh, ICBM nuclear bullet train. Interesting. Maybe maybe it's just going so fast that's gonna go uh, this is Lieutenant through it. Jack Morton. The train has been taken over by terrorists in a sudden attack. We're aware of that. Lieutenant Morton, the circuit you're using now is connected to the UN International Counterterrorism Organization. I am the commander of that organization's headquarters. Is that clear? How many of your units survived the attack? None. Only me. Here's the plan. Yeah, he sounds kind of like a As pussy. As it stands now, the Blue Harvest has been captured by an armed terrorist group called the Knights of the Apocalypse. They're demanding $20 billion in safe rail passage to France as ransom for the French ambassador. I'm dispatching a rescue team now. Lieutenant Morton, you will be under UN command. The French ambassador and his family are being held hostage. You are to make sure they're safe until the rescue team arrives. Report immediately when you've accomplished this. The Roger. whole game takes place on the train? Might intercept our transmissions. Hmm. Limit your radio use to emergency rescue requests. Any questions? How do we get in the train? There's a hatch on the roof of car 11. Roger! Jack, stay alert. <laughs> it's a very manly chin, she has. Indeed. <laughs> oh, my dog is losing her mind. Poor baby. Yeah, honestly, and um, yeah, I know it. Uh, the plot-wise. Oh wait, whoa, what the fuck? Oh yeah, we got Resident Evil. Oh, look at that dynamic camera. Wait a minute. Oh, wh what's wrong, baby girl? Interesting. So we want to move this way, I guess. And we run like that. All right, so it's like Resident Evil controls, but Siphon filter. I guess style game with some Metal Gear in there. But yeah, but um, anyway. Oh fuck! But I don't know. Graphically, I think this looks pretty good for a PlayStation One game. I mean, I know it's two thousand. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little covery shootery. Um, I just had to duck. Yeah, there we are. Duck. Um, all right, that's the, that's the action button. Oh shit, that's it. <laughs> I wanted car eleven. Car, ah, that's the uh, green light. And I action button the shit. Hmm. I will say this is intriguing. Granted, I kind of like shit like this. I like um, Siphon Filter, I like Metal Gear, so uh, I might be a little bit biased here. And I also I like Resident Evil. Oh, oh, shit, did you see all that? What the fuck was that? Nice. Oh yeah, and we got also got the roll. Yeah, we can roll. Let's see what we got in our inventory. <laughs> this is where, damn, that must be a fast fucking train. <laughs> it's from St. Petersburg to fucking France, it's a little far. Um. They said something about Ukrainians. Oh, only f <laughs> only four bullets. Holy shit! You have <laughs> you have one magazine. Good luck. What the fuck? Who's my commanding officer? What a prick. Um. Oh, baby girl. What do you want? Oh my goodness. My dog is losing her mind. You you get so spooked. You get so spooked, baby. I've read your records. You were stationed in Germany before that Israel. Shabak Shalom, motherfucker. 
Angola, Kuwait, very impressive indeed. But I see that you don't have much combat experience yet. Well, you've you're all we've got, and we're counting on you. <laughs> wow, you have a long record of serving in multiple countries. You don't have a lot of experience. What the fuck? Your first priority is to rescue the ambassador. All right, so it's, that's our that's our Metal Gear radio. All right, I have no files. Oh my god, sorry, my dog is just like back in uh, like she's just like doing figure eights around my legs. There, actually, she's gonna sleep on the bed now. Um, first aid kit. Is this like a Metal Gear or uh, yeah, this this is like a um Siphon Filter Metal Gear meets Resident Evil, but with dynamic camera. Honestly, that's pretty impressive, because it's pre-rendered, right? Like, that's pre-rendered. But, they have different angles. So, I mean, there's a little bit of warping. Huh. Alright, well, I'll, once again, I'm going to try to try to give it a fair, fair assessment here. I'll try not to suck its dick quite yet. I guess it won't open while the train is moving. Oh, fuck your <laughs> shit. Don't hit that. <laughs> you just alerted everyone we're here, you fucking dick. It's locked. Oh, oh shit. God damn it. Circle is run, yes. <laughs> shit. Oh, oh, look at that. There's a spooky man. We could see him all the way over there. Uh, let's go this way first. Uh, try my chances this way. Is this right where we just were? Or am I, uh, pants on head retarded? So now that we're in St. Petersburg, this is the rear deck. Um, what are we looking at? Items can be deposited in the box. Okay, so this is... And we can save at the box. Ah, look at that! They combined the uh, Resident Evil item box with the save typewriter. Nice. Oh wait, god damn it. <laughs> Shit. Alright, so it's the weird up down arrow thing. Alright, I guess I guess bathrooms are our saves. A little strange. Ah shit. Can I like look though? Some good atmosphere. Um, let's see what we got over here. Uh, the lift in the kitchen broke down again. <laughs> Once again, like like with Resident Evil, I gotta, gotta have everything about this place conveniently in written format. Uh, the lift in the kitchen broke down again. It, I looked at the unit and noticed it had a faulty connection. I'll have to experiment with it some more, but I should be able to fix it. Oh, you can, like, hear him outside the fucking door and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. It looks <laughs> like the bed hasn't been used. I'll be very sneaky now. <laughs> Fuck, that's really funny. Oh god. Oh, out of out of bullets. All right, time to run. Do I have Q QC Q or whatever the fuck it was called? <laughs> Fuck. Um, unequip. Oh, fuck! Fuck. Come on, just kick his ass! There we are. We're fine. Shit, I can't take his gun? Fuck you. Uh, can't open the locker, alright. Um, bunk beds for the staff. And we have a nice sparkling item on our hands. A unit! What kind of unit? Now I'm like thinking about Beavis and Butthead to America. You mean like my unit? <laughs> In my pants? Honestly, it looks like a good game. I think this is actually pretty cool so far. Uh, um, lift unit. Aha. Good. Convenient. Oh. 
Yeah, grab. Oh! Kick his ass. <laughs> Punch him in the dick now! <laughs> Shit. Oh, uh, good thing we saved. We saved before we fired two bullets in the fucking cabin. Yeah, it's like, it's survival horror-y with the amount of ammo they give you. Not a lot. So it's definitely better to uh, not shoot them in the back and just fucking go from room or room. Room to room, not room or room. Let's remember, uh, square fires, period. There's no, like, readying your weapon, you know? And I think there's a little, there's probably a little bit of stealth mechanics, you know, like, um, you can hear their... Until you get some ammo, at least. Like, you can hear- oh! Whoop! Hold up, now we unequip. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Shit, fuck you. There we are. Ah, not terrible. I mean, we have a life thing we could use. Oh shit, the uh, fucking cyborg ninja went ape shit in this hallway. Ace. So I think this is probably where we were supposed to go first, honestly, if we're getting uh, ammo then. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let, me, let me equip that. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Just like Resident Evil. There's probably a way to, you know, um, equip shit. Wait, what? He was shot in the chest. Alright, so yeah, you gotta... Mash X. Much like, much like, you know, you know, any JRPG from the same time, or, once again, Resident Evil. Blocked, got it. And we can go up. Let me uh, check check the map actually real quick. So everything's two floors. Oh, so I could like go back out and kind of enter a different train. So how many is that? Sixteen different cars. It looks like. But not all of them are double floor. Okay. Damn. Um, yeah, I wonder if it may maybe there's something that happens like halfway through the game and then you're like in the woods or some shit. In like bumfuck nowhere, like Belarus or some shit. Sorry to all my uh, viewers from Belarus. <laughs> shit. Aha! We can save here. Beautiful. I think we will. We got time. Fuck it. We killed a motherfucker. You just gotta use that crouch button. And also not <laughs> waste half your ammo trying to figure out the controls, huh? Once again, I will say I really like that about the original Metal Gear is how they had those training missions. And some people probably did not give a fuck. They're like, eh, who needs it? But I, don't know, I, I always like, anytime I pick that game up again, I'll fuck around with the, um, the training because it is a top down 3D PS1 game, so it's a little bit weird. I need to open the card key to open this door. Yeah, I, I'm kind of inclined to agree with you, Darcy, that there's probably no way the whole game takes place on a train. Maybe it does? Um, like it could. <laughs> I, I like tutorials. I think um, they can be good. As long as it's not forced on you. I don't like when, tutor you know, every time you start a new game, it forces it on you. But I, I like the way Metal Gear handled its tutorials. Um, vending machine? Do I want to go through there? Yeah, I, I'm hearing some tap dancing in there. We're gonna go over here first in the kitchen. <laughs> nice. You can be sneaky. The ambience is I okay. The ambience is really good. I, I really like this uh, subdued violin. Oh, this is probably the kitchen. We can probably grab that unit and bring it over here. Elite NATO rescue teams were dispatched to escort the Blue Harvest. 
A NATO representative has revealed that in the event of emergency, all itinerary countries will be linked to UN agencies, and a command HQ will be set up at the Pentagon. The train will depart Russia on December 24th, carrying the ambassador, his family, and historical artwork. God, wasn't that a movie? That was a fucking movie in, um, like the late 70s or early 80s. It had, uh, fucking Willy Wonka and, um, funny 70s black man in it. And they were on a train, uh, what's it called? Silver Streak. I actually like that na that uh, movie. Although um, Richard Pryor, I actually can't really enjoy Richard Pryor's shit anymore because I watched a uh, I watched a video where he was hanging out with um, Nickelodeon footman Dan Schneider, and it was Dan Schneider and Richard Pryor uh, quote unquote joking about. Um, Raping or statulatory raping of minors. Laughing about it. So, uh, yeah, it, it makes it hard to enjoy anyone's shit after that. When you know they're not, uh, joking, quote-unquote. You know they're not joking. Oof. So that that was rough. Once again, watch, watch some Dan Schneider documentaries on YouTube. And, uh, enjoy going down that rabbit hole. So what exactly did this say? I wasn't... I wasn't really reading. So that's, yeah, so that's where the unit goes. Grab unit, put unit in there. Got it. Um, let's see. We wanna, we wanna crush. <laughs> you explained why I hate governments. Oh yeah, dude. And you know, the entertainment industry is so ingrained into it that you really gotta fucking be wary of all that shit. Uh, just a sink. Nothing unusual here. Um, so we got a urinal. Yeah, match that X button. Pro tip. If you're playing this game, match that X button. It's not a... Stab to death with a knife. So were these our homies? I guess they're dressed the same way as I am. So I guess they are my homies. Wait, what is this? This is like a fucking big-ass glory hole to the right there. A <laughs> it's not really... Glory hole if it's the size of a mirror. <laughs> nice. Alright, so my homies are dead. So how are they inside the train? I was outside the train. I, I guess maybe maybe once again I wasn't paying attention fully. Now let's see if we can solve our first puzzle. Yeah, this is this is Metal Gear Siphon Filter. Oh he's back? Metal Gear Siphon Filter uh Resident Evil. Interesting. Like, very, very interesting. Aw, uh, is he really back? I just shot that guy in the dick to death. That is awesome. Huh, fuck, I hope they don't respond. I mean... That would that would kind of suck, honestly. That'd be, that'd be a fault, if you ask me. So we went in there and saved. <laughs> It's like it's like in uh, RoboCop. Your move, creep. <laughs> oh man. All right, I guess we're I guess we're going over here. We now have plenty of ammo though. Probably need to switch to your knife to save bullets. Yeah, but I don't have a knife. I just have a gun. So far. I'm assuming that for now this is the only way in the train, card 11, but maybe you can go back outside the train later on. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't reveal your shit. Alright, so we went in here, we grabbed this report. Tap A through, or tap X through that, through that report. Whoop! Excuse me, motherfucker! Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, do I have to do it this way? What's the re There's a reload button. There's gotta be a reload button. No. Oh no, I'm just hitting the wrong button. Fucking idiot. 
here we go. Can I search your body? Can I search your body for ammo? No, you just gotta be fucking careful. Yeah, you're probably right. There's probably some, uh, something I find. Oh, whoa, what the fuck, dude, really? Huh. Huh. Corner peak. Pro tip, duck. <laughs> Pro tip, duck. Um, so... Damn, I wonder, wonder if there's like a limited number. Like maybe some of them respond, but there's like a limited number per area? I don't know. Um, did I... Wait, was I, was I just in this one? No, I wasn't. No, wait, I was. I got the unit. Jesus Christ. My fucking brain. Let's check out the rest of this thing. I will say, you know, one thing that, at least Metal Gear, I, I kind of can't remember the voice of uh, what's his nuts and Siphon Filter, but at least in Metal Gear, you know, David Hayter, this guy a little bit weak. It's like, hi. Oh, geez, my team is dead. Where do I go? Not exactly the same as like. Where's the DARPA chief? Second floor basement. There. That's like, dude, that sounded just like it's like David Hayter was on stream with me. <laughs> sounded, sound, sounded just like him. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Um. Oh wait, we can just go up here. Ah, I didn't even see this. Well, if I want, I want to solve this puzzle before we go. Um, VIP room, motherfucker. Locked. Uh, I need a key card to open the door. Got it. Unusual here. Can't open this shit. Yeah, graphically, this game is good. Um, I like the, I guess, the general plot. I mean, that intro cutscene was pretty cool. Once again, a lot of games had that cutscene, but I'm just more surprised about the money, because it did cost a bit to do that kind of shit. Was that how I got in? I guess so. But assuming that this game ramps up in complexity and the gameplay and some more weapons and all that shit, uh, this game could be something really, really special. Oh, wait, triangle. Oh, look at that shit. Okay. So I can, it says, like, the peak button. Is it always the peak button? No. Now, oh, Leroy Jenkins, this motherfucker. Wow, that is really easy to dodge shots. <laughs> you're not, you're not fucking kidding. Wow, <laughs> that seems that seems like a little bit of a flaw. Yeah, but yeah, like I was saying, apparently this was a sequel. So I mean, obviously the first game had to have sold uh, decently enough. Oh shit! Oh. Hold up, you can't see me. Shit. You gotta get, you gotta get up! <laughs> Alright, you gotta, like, the auto target, you gotta be kind of facing them, which is a little bit weird when it's, um. You know. Not, like, top down or anything, or over the shoulder. Uh, let's use this real quick. We got, like, three minutes left. Shit! Ah, oh, I wasted it! How, how am I fucking up the controls that badly? Retardation, my friends. That is the answer. 99 times out of 100. A uh, unit. <laughs> my unit. If you've never seen Beavis and Butthead do America, yeah, it's Beavis and Butthead, so it's a little bit, like, brain-numbingly uh, dumb. Oh! Yes, we're just gonna fucking yeet over here. But uh, no, I think I think Beavis and Butthead is 
do America. That was, that was funny. There's some moments of it. Oh, it's spooky. I hear someone, but I do not know where they are. What we get? Uh, ambassador's menu: salmon tartare, vegetable risotto. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cola. Billy likes to drink soda. I feel like I'm gonna be. The camera's gonna feed me right to right to enemies. Do America's pure kino. Yeah, I really enjoy it. I actually think it's a fucking funny uh, movie. It gets gets a laugh out of me. Oh, see, so, okay, so that's the door we were looking in, I think, because we saw we saw kitchen and shit. God, what the fuck happened here, dude? I was like joking about the um, cyborg ninja, but apparently, holy shit! Either that, or it was uh, what Mr. White from uh, Reservoir Dogs going ape shit here. Cargo door won't open while we're moving. All right, got it, got it. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck! Fucking Phil Collins is hiding in the walk-in, waiting for the uh, drum solo there, scaring the shit out of me. Where well, here's the card key we need to get back to where we were. We can just walk back to where we were. Huh? Why would why would we want to do that? In order to grab some lamb? Oh shit, are they coming for me? Alright. And we're just gonna run through. We're not gonna go up. Wasn't there like a uh, bathroom here? Or no, uh, did we climb up? Shit. I don't even remember. Which way was this one? And it's like about time for the uh, next game. Yep. But I'm going to open this door, assuming that we're in the right place. Oh, this is a ventilation room. Did I see this before? Are we in the, like, we must be in a different place. Oh, God. Oh, no, this is where we started the game. Okay. Oh, God. But, um, rules be rules, but not bad. The ducking exploit is pretty fucking bad, to be sure. Because <laughs> they're just never going to hit you. But, surprising, surprisingly quality. Not bad. Uh, two disc game from 2000, late release once again. Alright, so we're on our last game for the evening. Um, how do I, how do I get there? There we are, Juggernaut. This is a three-disc game. I believe it's a horror game from 1999. So I would I would say that's a more of a mid mid release game. This was before the uh, PS2. Three discs though, pretty crazy. Assuming this works, I gotta wait a little bit. There we go. And, um, would this work with, uh, dual shocks? I feel like it should. We'll just enable that real quick. But yeah, so far, uh, you know, because I'm completely randomly choosing these games, right? I assumed we were going to experience some really, like, at least two really, really terrible fucking games. But, uh, not bad. Really. Really surprising. I guess it just goes to show how many good games there are. So if you're like collecting PS1 games for original hardware, I mean, fuck, go crazy. Try out some weird shit. Just because you haven't heard it before doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. I forget what other games Jalico makes. Or made. I mean, maybe they're not around anymore. I feel like they were pretty big around the 16-bit era, I thought. My girlfriend was supposed to come to my house this morning. Well, that's not your girlfriend, that's a doll. But she had not shown up yet. 
She was always punctual, but she had not even called me. Probably getting fucked in the ass. Did someone happen? Did something happen to her? Will and Tonkin House. Present. I don't know who those are. Juggernaut. Some high quality imagery there. No, <laughs> it's it's supposed to be all fucked up. Very artsy intro. Uh, speaking of which, I need to play through Silent Hill again. I think this year for October, one of the games I'm going to play through is Silent Hill. Because I played through it uh, the previous October, I guess October 2020. And I got like the worst ending. But it's not like uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where you get the worst ending and you just reload and figure out how to get the better ending. Uh, let's see, the strange men called me. He said I should come to my girlfriend's house immediately. Yeah, your girlfriend's getting fucked in the ass. He was polite but not firm. I hurried to my love, not knowing something so shockingly dreadful was about to happen. But um, yeah, in Silent Hill you're kind of locked in to a uh, ending. So I might use like a good ending guide, just like low, not no spoiler, good ending, just to make sure I get the shit needed. But I would like to ex experience that game again because silent hill man that was a surprisingly good game but i am still a little bit bitter about getting that worse ending and like all right now you have to play through it again motherfucker nice gotta love i love spooky ambience <laughs> options do you want <laughs> do you want vibration or not i guess i guess we're gonna have uh vibration some in-depth options you got there buddy How is the uh, game audio overall? Can you guys like hear that shit? Can you guys hear the audio? The audio, right here, the music. What is this? Is this like mist? It's like a like a mist style game. What if I want to back up, can I back up? No, I can't. At least not through this part. Well, everything is pre-rendered. Which is good. Okay. So this is my girlfriend. Sarah is sitting at the end of the room. The room is filled with a terribly sickeningly smell. And then we have the doll here. It's the doll Sarah loves. Yeah, I'm like hit O. Oh, kind of weird. I have been waiting for you. Tell me what's going on. Was she like possessed? That's a terrible frame rate. It looks like Sarah, soul, has been taken away by an evil force. Is this the Japanese remake of Fear? Fear is on my list to play. Uh, that's a first-person shooter, yeah? Uh, so her soul has been taken away by an evil force. Whatever that means. An evil force? <laughs> the character... No, that's the guy who's in the room, I think. So yeah, the guy in the room is the G-Man. Yeah, you're right. He does, <laughs> he does look like a G-Man. She was possessed by an evil force sealed in the bottle. Alright, so we're looking at like really Japanese shit here. That's what I bought her at the antique shop. So we bought a, uh, a demon in a bottle at an antique shop. Our dumbass girlfriend. Just fucking dropped that shit or maybe a, it was her pet cat or something. Oh shit, oh god, is that so? The bottle like that was sold at the shop. So you have to like mash to get the whole dialogue out because it's so fucking slow. I just gotta be careful. How's Sarah? Is she alright? Tell me about her condition. Calm down and listen to me. Oh, alright. <laughs> she turned into, uh. 
what, Jean Grey from the X-Men. I'm a priest and an exorcist. This morning she called me and said a poltergeist phenomenon was happening. Ah, shit, I'm getting a call real quick. Hold up. I'm pausing the, uh, pausing it. Alright, sorry about that. Um, let's see. Now we have to fucking hit the timer. No! Fucking resume. Good. Sorry about that. I hope I didn't miss anything too crazy. Uh, when I got here, she had been partially possessed by an evil force. In her fading consciousness, she could only tell me about you. Help me! <laughs> That's a lot about me, huh? Sarah, are you awake? Stay away from her! All right, our girlfriend is a crazy bitch. <laughs> She's deposing, no! Oh, I thought I crashed for a second, I'm like, shit. Lord, please give your power to me. And give us your strength to crush evil. Release your mighty arrow to penetrate the evil. Are, are we are we confusing a uh, god with Apollo? <laughs> she really is deposing though. Only he who loves her and is loved by her can expel the evil force from her soul. But how am I supposed to do that? That bitch fucking hates me. We've been fighting all month. You must enter her soul and fight with the evil force. Now pull out your penis. I'll pull out the camera. The evil force will employ any and all means. The battle will be difficult and may seem to last forever, but remember that God will never forsake you. Don't succumb to the evil force, withstand the battle, because that's when the strength of your soul is being tried. Almost read that as tired. I understand. I'll go and take Sarah back. Before her soul was completely possessed, she offered her clenched fist. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she fisted me pretty good and gave this to me. It will be of help to you. <laughs> I like I like that item jingle. Received a pendant. Man, like the uh Look at look how fuzzy those words are, you know? They they could have done a better job with the text if nothing else. Remember, it is go I mean, I know on like a CRTV it'll like blend a little bit better, so they're all the same. It is going to be very dangerous. If you lose, you and Sarah will both become like the devil's slaves. But God doesn't want this to happen. Remember that God will always be with you, and I'll do my best to help you. Thank you, Father. You'd better hurry. Yes, Father. Oh! Um, Father? <laughs> wait, uh, no, 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 never mind. Are we sure he is a member of the church? He is a member of the voodoo church, man. Oh, wait, wait we're actually going in her body, alright. I am, am I about to enter reality, or is it all merely a dream? So this is like Psychonaut shit, alright. But I can be certain that in Sarah's agonizing eyes, I saw her pleading for my help. Though I was apprehensive in my fading consciousness, I was determined to retrieve my beloved Sarah. Oh, Pickle, I have no idea. I'm along for the ride with you. Some sort of, like, mist-style survival horror for the PS1. Uh, when I woke up, I found myself lying on a strange beach. Okay, so this is, like, really trippy. Okay. What the fuck? The sun in front of me looks as if it were a bag filled with blood. All right, I, I, I'd say it's a red circle, but whatever. It's a glory that paints the world a bloody red. All right, so triangle's back. Huh.
Yeah, so it's like mist. But, um... Right, there's a, a path along here. I'd rather go back. Honestly, I have to, okay. Never mind. Placed on the ground are two items. One tells the direction, the other tells time. Uh, move, okay. <laughs> what the fuck ever, bro? I'd say this is attempting to be a point and a click adventure game. This is just you walking full of Resident Evil style puzzles. I got you, but we haven't seen puzzles yet, but we just started, so there could be puzzles here. I don't know. Um, what are we doing here? There's something there? No? Anything that for me to check out or okay, nothing. Interesting. The triangles cancel. I go right. What is this? The pier. It's all pre-rendered stills and it looks bad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is, um, it looks very low resolution. Maybe they did that to save space, but I mean, it's on three discs, you know? But like Resident Evil doesn't look this pixelated. The game we we're just playing didn't look this pixelated. Um, anyway, the pier has foot-shaped burns. Alright. Let's check out the beach. Alright. There must be a thousand... There must be ten thousand screens. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll give it a fair shot. It could be interesting. But yeah, this... I like the I like the concept. If uh, graphically, especially the words, the words being fucked up, I don't think there's any uh, excuse for. Because it. it's actually kind of hard to read the words in this game. What the fuck? Weird. It's a weird game. <laughs> All right, let's say hi. Hello. How are you? What is it that you're searching for? What are you doing in my girlfriend, bro? <laughs> the exit from this world. Well, yeah, I mean, technically we're here for a reason, so that reason is to, uh, this. It will appear when a red blood-filled bag becomes one with the sea. What? <laughs> Why is everyone referring to the sun as a red blood-filled bag? All right. Uh, what will it? Well, when that's you know sundown, you fucking dumbass. When will it appear, or what will appear? The mansion of truth. Resident Evil mansion. Got it. All truths are hidden in the mansion. However, the mansion hasn't appeared yet. Uh, can you take me to it, buddy? I'm not allowed to leave here. <laughs> uh, you must find it yourself. All right. What is it that you're searching for? That there, there is no need to be here. All right, well, fucking get the fuck out! I can't move. Wait, what do you mean I can't move? What do you mean I can't move? Do I have to like? Do I have to do like reset and I have to choose the correct shit? Yeah. God damn it. Really? So by talking to him again, I reset the shit. Wow, that's dumb. I chose the right shit. Not allowed to hear. Okay, so now, now I leave. Now I... Huh, wait, what? Really? I wonder if that's for every dialogue. That would suck. They just had to choose when. So I had to choose all the dialogue options. Got it. When it becomes the one with the blood-filled bag. Yeah, you know that, asshole. What am I? What am I missing? Huh. That which is through his soul. What will appear? Take me with you. I must find it myself.
And then I go, please. I can't move. I feel like I'm wrapped in chains. Oh, shit. Uh, examine. Sarah's favorite pendant. Use. Wait, what? Did I just, did I just, what the fuck did I just, oh, the spendant saves, okay. That's not gonna help me here. But it's good to know. Combine. <laughs> Combine. Um, no, that's all I have. What the f fuck am I supposed to, why do I have to choose the, like, perfect dialogue? What will appear? When will it appear? Tomorrow, yesterday, and wow, I had to choose the right. Th That's fucked. I hate that. That's like some. Um, I know people really, really like the uh, lawyer game by Capcom. I used to, and then I played it recently on stream. I couldn't get into it because of that kind of shit. Uh, tomorrow, yesterday, and now. I mean, we figured it out, but it's still fucking dumb. Oh. And yes, it does look like we're in a surreal J-horror movie. Okay, Birdcage, yes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind the concept, Darcy. Uh... Just a couple things that they tweaked it so far would be a lot better. Huh. Alright, we get to we get a clock. I guess the blood bag has as meat has met the uh the sun. The clock shows six o'clock. Okay okay. <laughs> okay. Okay game, what whatever you say. Can I, can I take the clock? Clock says six o'clock. Okay, well, I guess I guess we get the fuck out while the getting's good, huh? Weird. This is a weird fucking game. I've ne I, you know, I've never heard of this game. But, like, I don't hate it, you know what I mean? It's the kind of game where it'd probably take, be more rewarding to watch someone who knows how to beat it play it on a long play. I I might actually agree with you. Wait, back. So let's keep going up. Like I like the idea. It's it's it is intriguing. But um, yeah, the the low fidelity images. Because you know clearly the PlayStation can do better than this, and they uh compressed the living piss out of everything for reasons to fit it all, which is crazy, because this is on three different discs. Okay, what are you? There is... Oh, wait, 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 what does it say? Fuck. There is no painting on this thing. <laughs> That's very subtle. There is no painting. Good. All right, <laughs> so we know what to do with that, then. That's good. What's, what's to my right, though? Oh, there's another painting. Maybe like it's like two paintings of eyes or some shit. <laughs> and maybe they look at each other. I don't know. Yeah, I think some Final Fantasy games uh, also do that. There's a bunch of um, JRPGs do the giant caps thing. Yeah, I can't say I hate this game. But I also, <laughs> I can't say I love some of the decisions here either. So far, if I had to like pull a number out of my ass after playing for 20 minutes, maybe like a 5 out of 10. Like not, not like god awful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tedious to play. Weird. I mean, I guess we'll go through here.
I'm super into it after that open, opening psycho, psychedelic. Yeah, no, trust me. I, I also like the concept. I like the concept here. A painting is on the ground. Well, how convenient. And what is it? What is it? What do we got? Obtained painting. The gonna be like some Mario 64 shit, huh? We're going to jump into it. Yeah, like this is this is some weird shit, you know? And I like that. So it really is like mist yeah. But the puzzles are more like Resident Evil. Mm, a finding shit, putting it object here. Yeah, I remember playing Mist. I think I might have had the Mist on was there a Mist on PlayStation 1, Darcy? Because if we did, I think we had it on that. Or we had it on the PC, but I don't remember playing it that much. A record is on the ground. Alright. Looking for a record player. Obtained a record. Was it? I, see, that's the thing. is There was this shocking amount of PC games on the PlayStation 1. Like, a really surprising amount. They, I don't think any of them were that good of ports. There was a surprising amount. So we went that way. And then... We look left. That brings us there. Okay. It was ported? Yeah, I think I might have played. That might have been how I played it. Yeah, I'm not... It's, you know, sometimes they try to make uh, PC games for PlayStation 1. I guess we'll try our luck with the uh, painting, even though we only have one of them. But there was a mouse attachment for the PlayStation 1. From what I hear, something like um, Red Alert, I hear that they did a surprising job for it. I remember reading something where someone was talking about, it, like, yeah, I played it with the mouse. It's actually better than you would think. I think that's how he phrased it. It's better than you would think. Is up the stairs the only place I can go? I think so. I think there's the two paths outside the tower, right? And then there's the... Um, and those relate to the record and the painting, respectively. And then there's halfway up the tower, there was that one location where I talked to the old man. And then there's this top room in the tower. And then there's the third way that leads to the beach, which we already were there. So that's that's what that was. Okay, um, uh, return. How do, how do I fucking use shit? L. It's R. Okay. Now what? Do nothing. Showed you could look left or right. Okay, we'll uh, we'll try that. So you're saying halfway up there's something. Wait, but what if, what if I put um, a record? Let's examine. Front side is 78, 83. Wait, wait, what? 78, 33. All right, just remember those. Okay, 78, 33. I mean, I could try putting this on the other easel, but um, I don't know. I have no. There's nothing. There's nothing cluing me in. That that's what I have to do. So we're just gonna try that as like last ditch effort, if nothing else works. But uh, let's see. So we go down here. Uh. And from here, we can go back up the stairs, down, or out here. I guess we can try over here. So 78, 33, and 6 o'clock? Weird. Yeah, this is very misty. But I will say, I will say, though, um, 6 o'clock. All right, so we got a couple different numbers we probably have to remember. Um, I will say, though, that uh, the fact that you can save anywhere would mean that, like, if you had, you know, if you had this growing up, right, and you were playing on the PlayStation 1, you, pr you probably would finish the game. 
Because it doesn't seem that hard. It's just a little time, like you said, a little tedious, a little time consuming. But it's intriguing, if nothing else. So let's go back to the beach then. I think we checked out everywhere. Like behind the tower is just the two paths that lead to. Uh, things. Yeah, neat, neat, <laughs> neat, but not good. That's probably, that's probably how I would phrase it. So over here. have this beach and we look at the beach and we have the sun the sun in front of me looks as if it were a bag that's so that's such a dumb comparison a bag filled with blood a bloody bag of fire <laughs> like I don't know this is that is so fucking bizarre weird way to phrase it yeah it's definitely a Japanese thing <laughs> very very strange so I mean we checked over here and there wasn't anything. You know, this looks like something. It looks like there's something on the edge there. Although I think that's supposed to be the shadow of this. Uh, this post. Nothing here. Or no, there's like a something to my right. And this is where we could... See this. Nah, I can't go off the dock. Um, whenever I go into that, like, clicking mode, that's, like, preset. That's when I, like, hold forward and there's nothing there, then I'm in clicking mode. It's not like I'm hitting a button to click. It's, like, preset areas to click. Kind of weird. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I wanted to, I wanted to keep searching. I wish the ambience was a little louder, because I think the ambience is actually pretty cool. So I can't I can't do anything here, yeah? No, because I go over here. Uh maybe there's something else behind the tower, or maybe I am supposed to switch the painting on the other easel. Even though it seems like it wouldn't matter. Yeah, but that's uh, the beach is nothing. So we'll check around the tower and I'll I'll try to like speed run this shit, because we have uh two minutes left. Well three minutes left actually. And then we'll try putting the painting on the other easel. But we went there, though. Go there. Um, unless there's, like, something being conveyed by these arrows that is just fucking beyond me. And it's making me think that there's like like my like my spatial my sense of spatial awareness is being fucked with because it's the game's fault, which I don't think it is, but I mean it could be. Yeah, it seems like the only option is back in the tower. Okay, we got uh, one minute fifty seconds left. Let's see if we can uh, move those paintings and see if that's what it was. That would be kind of bullshit if that would that is what it was. I feel like it shouldn't matter which easel it's on. Feel like it shouldn't, but you know, fuck, fucking who knows? Or maybe putting the painting on the easel makes one of the stones loose or some weird shit like that. This is a strange game. Um, let's see. Remove the painting. <laughs> just, just reverse it. Just <laughs> reverse the footage. Out of the spine to me for some reason. Yes. Yes. Remove the painting. Thank you. <laughs> you don't have to spend it spelled out too much for me. I mean, I'm retarded. I'm not that retarded. Uh, a little weird. Um, L and one. Oh, fucking. What am I talking about? L one and R one is how you open up your item menu. Then L two and R two just don't do anything. Kind of strange. Do nothing. Let's check these stones. If not, like, dude, that's a hell of a way to get stuck in the first, like, few seconds of the game. This is the kind of shit that after streaming it, like, later tonight, when I'm inevitably unable to sleep, just because, you know, sleep does not come to me easy at all. 
I'm gonna be fucking looking up footage like, how the fuck did you get past that? Yeah, weird. And there's nothing there. Fuck. And that's, uh, that's it. So, I mean, however you're supposed to figure this shit out, it's fucking beyond me. My goodness. Um. Yeah, still interesting. Like, I, I think this is an interesting game. And, you know, if this is something that you had growing up, you'd, you'd play it out. You'd figure it out eventually. But, fuck. That's pretty fucking crazy. Anyway, that was it for... What? The PlayStation 1 grab bag. First first episode. What do you think? No, um, we... I expected a lot more shit, and the closest thing to shit on here was Juggernaut, which I... I don't think I could call that shit. That's like a 5 out of 10, maybe uh, maybe a 4, I don't know. But like, not, not god-awful. It's just opaque. It's like, uh, you know, it's like fucking mist, whatever. But anyway... What we're going to do real quick is we're going to rank these shits. That's what we're going to do. We're going to fucking rank these shits. Just because, you know, I, I enjoy ranking things. And who doesn't like a good ranking? Um, there we are. So what are we going to do here? What was the best thing? Covert Ops. Covert Ops and Nuclear Dawn. That was, that was pretty cool. If I can type. Can I type? Covert Ops. Nuclear Dawn. I wonder if it's... uh. Oh, wow, I'm, like, fucking completely fucking up right now. Let me move this out of the way so I can see it. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Perfect tech side. I'm so fucking good. Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn, really cool game, I have to say. That was pretty interesting. Although, ducking is a hell of a exploit. The fact that no one can hit you when you're ducking. I mean, that's really easy. Because, you know, when you're shooting, you're going to get down. And then no one hits you, so I, that's that's pretty big. But as far as a Metal Gear, um, what fucking games do we say? Siphon filter, like a Metal Gear Siphon filter Resident Evil hybrid. Surprising and graphically, it's actually really cool. I'd be uh, very interested in actually checking that out, and also the game that came before it, because I think that's the sequel. Um, next one, I would have to say probably Samurai Showdown. Three. Blades of Blood. All right, I'm not going to type all that. But yeah, Samurai uh, Showdown's a pretty basic PC port. But it's not bad. And I think playing single player, it's pretty fun. It feels good. It plays and looks like... Well, it looks like an early PS1 game. But plays good, eh, all things considered. It's probably better on the Neo Geo. I'm assuming it was on the Neo Geo, but I don't know. But I'd be interested in honestly playing more of that series. That's actually pretty cool. And playing with a friend could be very nice. Um, next game on the list. Hmm. You know what? Even though I was shit at it, and I do think I was shit at it, I feel like it would be fair to put NHL uh, Power Play up on that. Because I'm, I'm just bad at sports games, but honestly, as much as I hate sports games, I was kind of, I was slowly starting to get it. The, um, you know, what buttons were to the hit, what button to punch. Uh, I feel like with a friend, that could actually be really cool. And now the last two are actually tricky, because yeah, I would have to say mobile. I would have to say mobile rally. Let's be real there. Mobile one rally championship. I do think it is kind of fucked up how difficult that was, because even when I was kind of getting it, I was still like fucking 15 seconds behind the second to last place. But there's clearly a lot of effort into it, and graphically that was surprising. Graphically that looked Mobile One Rally and Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn look very good for PlayStation 1 games. Um, I just think that shit was a little bit too difficult, but it handled fine. And I, I like all the uh, dialogue they threw in there. And last one is Juggernaut. Not a bad, not, a, well, not an awful game. But very opaque. But interesting. If, if you had it, I mean, you would probably play and then figure it out and then get a relatively cool story if i had the patience i would even stream that for halloween but now nah, it's a little too slow maybe check out how to win and watch a long play but anyway so that's uh that's what we're looking at 
Um, yeah, Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn. If you're into that kind of shit, check it out. Anyway, thanks again for watching, everyone. If you're watching this live, make sure to show up on YouTube and follow the channel because that's where all of the VODs show up of the previous streams. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to follow me on Twitter because that's where I do this shit live. And there is the Discord. All the links should be should be down below. Anyway, thanks again, everyone, and peace out. Hopefully you have a good one.